Hello out there in internet land. Hello everybody. How you doing? Welcome. Sorry, sorry, sorry for starting a little later than usual. What's up, Sonic? How's it going, man? Picture day tomorrow. Oh, man. That's rough. That's rough. How's it going, though, dude? How you been? Am I the only one in chat? Just you and me, man. Just you and me. Oh, and now lightning shock as well. But yeah, it was just you and me. You and I. But anyway, good luck with picture day. What's up, lightning? What's up? How's everybody doing out there in internet land? Natty and I are just finalizing some uh, some vacation stuff coming up. So I'll be kind of dealing with that on the side maybe. We'll see. Hopefully hopefully nothing crazy. What's up, Adriel? How's it going? Yo, Genji guy is in here as well. What's up, Genji? And yo, I want to point out first and foremost, like before I really get into this, I want to thank Chris um, for making this beautiful beautiful uh coliseum-esque sprite or 3d model i guess of uh, of shiny hair across specifically from this game it looks so good it's so much better than the uh the like 2d photo i was using the sprite uh yeah it, it looks phenomenal uh he's been doing it for like a lot of the the coliseum pokemon and uh his the links to his twitch where he is also undertaking the same challenge with a shiny for alligator caught in this game called bluno uh, as well as his Twitter can be found in the description. So definitely check out Chris if you have not done it already. Uh, seriously, like what a great person. Actually like reached out to me and was like, hey man, I made this, like you want to use it for streams? And I was like, yes, yes please. Uh, they emailed me and everything. So yeah, it was beautiful, it was wonderful, and it looks so good. It looks fantastic. It's like literally the Coliseum model. Like, it's crazy. Oh, nice Katarina. How's it going? How you been? It's 12.14. Oh, jeez. That is, uh, that is late. That is late lightning. That is very late. All right. Well, hopefully this hair cross doesn't keep us waiting too long then. I overheated at Walmart today. Uh oh, what happened? Just like it was too hot or what, 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 what's the story behind that? Yeah, you gotta be careful with that, Sonic. Yo, what's up, Shicey? How's it going? We're just starting. I'm a little late today, like I said, um... Because Natty and I are, we're finalizing, oh geez, that was, that was, that was scary for a sec. But yeah, we're finalizing some plans for our Tokyo trip. Uh, it turned out there was an issue with like some of the hotel stuff. So we're figuring all that out kind of on the side right now. She's on the call, or she's on the phone with uh, the bank. We're trying to figure out a thing. So yeah, it's going to be an interesting, an interesting stream because I'm kind of dealing with that in the background. But the stream must go on. I must continue. Also, have we still not caught... Okay, no, 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 I was like, the turn hasn't started yet. Okay, we're good. Yeah, yeah, we're, we're, we are all good. Netball. Hopefully it'll catch. And uh, why not light screen? I'm good. I'm good, Shicey. I'm good. How are you? Melissa, what's up? Welcome, welcome. Sure, I don't have uh, school tomorrow. Nice, nice. Yo, Draco's Domain. What's up, my dude? What is up? How's it going, man? How have you been? Congrats again on the bandages. And all of that good stuff. Uh, glad to hear everything so far is going according to plan. That's uh, always great news, of course. But yeah, welcome, man. Welcome. Great to have you. It must be super late where you are, though. 
So that was my day. Yeah, sounds like a uh, quite quite the day. Also, how did this Heracross still not uh, still not get caught? The wall shattered. Oh no, and a crit. Uh oh. All right. Uh, items. Netball. We're still doing good though. We we uh, got it down to red pretty quickly. So uh, I might as well use another light screen. My 3DS capture card is taking forever to get here. Yo, mine, my first one, literally took it like seven or eight months for me to get it. Uh, maybe, maybe I'm over exaggerating a bit, but like at minimum it was six months. At maximum it was definitely like eight. Like that, it, it, it was a lot. Uh, Mario vs. Donkey Kong on the GBA is a game I've been wanting to play for years. I remember watching Shadow Mario. Uh, Let's play it all those years ago. I've never played it myself. He didn't get caught because of magic. All the magic in the air from the boys towards the bears. I don't know. I'm trying to rhyme. It's not working. Speaking of boys, where's old Roy Boy today? But uh, let's reset on that female Heracross and, and move on. A problem with my team. I need a fire type for Bronzor, Bronzong, but Ponyta is the only fire type in the game that I can catch in the wild. Oh, yes. Yes. Generation 4, specifically Diamond and Pearl. They don't make uh, they don't make that easy. Yeah, Bronzong was always a problem for me as well in those games. Uh, I don't really have like a great answer for you to be honest, other than like if you have the means, maybe you can trade something in from from another from like another game or something. But yeah, other than that, it's really not helpful for for like that specific type. My boy Roy Boy, yes, I, I imagine he'll be in in a bit. We were just talking before I went live, so. Uh, it's 12.25, should be asleep like 25 minutes ago because I took medication, but I'm nervous because I have a blood test tomorrow and I have a huge phobia, excuse me, of like the needles or just blood in general. Because I've actually met people who have both. My dad, for example, uh, cannot handle needles, like he hates needles, whereas my mom, uh, she just freaks out when she sees blood. So yeah, there's like, there's definitely a difference between the two. Personally, I don't really mind either. Like, I don't want to see a lot of blood, but uh, oh, needles, needles, okay. Fair enough, man. Fair enough. Well, uh, that is really unfortunate, but, but, um, I'm sure it is not the first needle. It might not be the last, but you're going to get through it because you are Demon Gon, aka Exobol, aka Draco's Domain, uh, and you're going to, you're going to kill it. You are going to, you are going to own that needle. By the end of it, the needle is going to be framed and on your wall because you're going to make it that your, your skin of steel is going to be impenetrable. Yeah, I don't know what I'm saying. But the fact is, is you are awesome. And you will get through it, as, as always. Uh, again, I'm really sorry to hear that you do have to go through that, though. But you are a strong AF individual. And uh, we love you, man. We love you. Just as the needle's, like, going in and you're freaking out, just remember how sick it was when you reclaimed your uh, pick a peck. Just remember that moment. Use the hype. Uh, Ponyta's not bad, though. Yeah, Ponyta's not bad. But at the same time, I definitely understand what Katarina's trying to, like, get at, though. Is that it's just, like, it sucks that that's, like, the only option, basically. I think way later on you can get, like, Meg Mordar. But it, it's, like, a long way off. It's almost towards the end of the game. I went to the opticians today and ended up at the hospital with multiple needles in the end. Oh my god, what happened, Alex? That's crazy. It's on the 3DS if you're part of the 3DS Ambassador program. I am. I am. Huh. I didn't... I don't think I had that game for my Ambassador program. But maybe I'm wrong. I'm probably wrong. Um, I spent like three hours trying to find out how to avoid sand attack. Oh, you just like keen eye or mold breaker. Or like just, just something like that. I wish you part of the 3DS Ambassador program so I could get those GBA games. Some of them are really good. I like the, the Yoshi's Island one. Uh, there's a good WarioWare. Sacred Stones is in that. Um, Metroid Fusion. I discovered my love for Metroidvania games through through that Ambassador program, actually. I love Metroid Fusion. It's so good. I hate everything related to needles and blood. Even thinking about it can make me pass out. You'll be fine, though. I spent like three hours trying to find out how to avoid... Sorry, I already read that. Um, but my phobia is crazy with needles. Last time I had a blood test with no sort of anesthesia. It took five male nurses to hold me down. Oh, wow. That, yeah, well... I mean, hey, man. I would honestly be the same way. I hate, like, rats. If someone took, like, a dirty rat and, like, put it on my arm and tried to have it, like, bite into me, I'd freak out, too. So, like, I definitely, uh... 
I can't relate because like I am okay with needles myself. I mean, I, I'm not like per, like I'm not like I love getting them or anything. Like they still, you know, once in a while they freak me out, but uh, not to the point where like that would ever happen. That's crazy. I hope uh, I hope tomorrow goes smoother, man. You guys hear that we're getting a direct tomorrow? Exciting! Yes, that's another thing. So yeah, as bad as the needle thing is gonna be, uh, Demon Gone. Remember that you will be able to watch a beautiful Nintendo Direct uh, around like just just a little before this time tomorrow. Um, you know, as, a, as a, a little gift, a little gift from the Nintendo gods. Maybe we'll get a brand new Smash reveal. Maybe we'll get some no, uh, some new news on Pokemon Let's Go. So, yeah. What about a pet rat? Um, I, I honestly, rodents in general, like, I'm just, like, not great with. Even hamsters, like, they, they just, I don't know why. They freak me out. It's got to be, like, I've talked about this on stream before, but I know and I recognize that, like, a small little field mouse... Uh, is probably less dirty than, like, a squirrel or something. You know what I mean? And so, like, I shouldn't fear it. And yet, there's something in me that's, like, innately, like, programmed into my DNA where logic gets thrown out the window and I just don't like them. It just absolutely freaks me out. Like, it, uh, it's one of my greatest fears for sure. So, yeah. I can't really explain it. It's just something I just cannot, I cannot deal with. Any prediction slash wants for the direct? Uh, I would love, I personally think, and I think I've been wrong on like almost all of the guesses for direct things. Uh, I'm usually okay with Pokemon stuff, but uh, we'll, we'll see. But anyway, um, yeah, I think we're going to get a Majora's Mask character reveal for Smash. I think we're going to, excuse me, get a lot of uh, time allocated towards like the... Uh, the, the internet, like that, the new online service that's, that's rolling out this month. Uh, I think that's like a huge, that's, that's the, the main reason they're even having this. I think we'll see some Luigi's Mansion. I hope we see some Metroid Prime 4, uh, but that remains to be seen. Um, and maybe if we're lucky, maybe we get a small update on, uh, Fire Emblem Three Houses. That'd be, that'd be pretty sweet. But that's kind of, that's kind of where, where I'm aiming. I'm, I'm pulling for Smash. I'm saying we're, we're getting a Skull Kid reveal. That is my guess. But we'll see. I definitely don't think it'll be, like, a third-party character uh, because I feel like they do that in, like, a Smash Direct. Uh, kind of like, you know, how they did Richter and Simon for, like, the big Smash Direct. Which, they're going to do another big Smash Direct for sure before the game comes out. It might not be as big as the one we just had, like, last month, but it'll be big. But this, I think they're going to keep, like, the character reveal, like, hype, but not that hype. Like, not like a, oh my god, it's a whole new franchise kind of deal, you know? The nerve that connected my eye and brain was dodgy. Uh, it's the law in the UK to report it. Either means to... Oh, jeez. Well, I hope everything's okay, man. Uh, I think the voice is out of sync with the video. Not sure if it's my eyes playing tricks on me. Anyone else see an audio delay? Is there is there a slight audio delay? There could be. It's definitely possible. Unfortunately, I don't know if I can fix it midstream. Uh, yeah, I'm not. I'm not entirely sure. So I hope. I hope not. I hope it's it's nothing crazy. Um, I know we're not going to get it, but a part of me kind of really hopes we get a Zelda HD package for the Switch with Wind Waker, Twilight Princess, and Skyward Sword. Again, that'd be nice, but, like, I don't know. I, I think they're going to stay away, at least from, like, Wind Waker and Twilight Twilight Princess for a while. Um, I don't see a delay. That's good. That's good news. Because, yeah, like I said, I, I don't think I'm going to be able to fix it if there is one right now, at least. And I'm not going to lie, it was really difficult to, like, even set this up. So there's, like, there is a delay on the stream. So, like, when I talk, it takes about five seconds so that it syncs up properly with the gameplay. Because I know we had that problem at the beginning. It's just an issue of, like, recording off the GameCube. It kind of sucks, but, like, if you do it with a stream delay, there's it usually works out okay. There's been a couple rumors, but I'm not sure. I, I mean, I hope. I don't know. Skyward Sword for the Switch definitely needs to happen at some point, though. The problem is, I wonder how, like, inherent the motion controls are tied. Uh, did you hear about this Article 13 going on in Europe? Yeah, I did hear about that. How it's basically, like, it's giving complete power to copyright holders and kind of, like, removing fair use completely, it seems. Uh, that's the gist of it. Of course, I know it's way more complex than that, but that seems to be the gist of it. And uh, that's scary, for sure. That definitely, I honestly feel, like, my, it, is, it might be weird, but my first thought immediately was, like, Wait, how is PewDiePie gonna, like, still be PewDiePie? Because he's in Europe. He's in, like, Brighton. Um, and yeah, like, his content would not be okay, according to, like, this new rule. 
And he's like the biggest YouTuber. So yeah, it definitely is something that affects YouTubers for sure. Uh, it's definitely very scary. Just for any, like, because I, I think they, they'll block it too. Even like, even though I'm not European, I feel like a lot of like Europeans out there are going to get like really hurt by this. It, 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 it's super messed up and I like you know what I, I almost can't see it going like I, I know like, it got passed but there's like a few things that can stop but like I felt the same way about uh, the uh, the whole internet like net neutrality thing in America and I was like you know it'll get really far it always gets really far but it won't pass and then it passed so like I don't know like I'm, I'm, I'm definitely I feel for you guys how is YouTube gonna still be YouTube I honestly don't know it kind of seems like they're leaning towards just like banning youtube unless it's literally like jimmy fallon who owns the copyright posting his like clips or the music studios it basically it seems like it's it's a way to get like the people who are already like on top and famous and like have lawyers teams and stuff like that who can fight it just give them more chances at the front page right if uh you know like ford or volkswagen want to like put an ad on youtube now they don't got to compete with like you know billions and and millions of content and minutes and just like, they, they can just get their stuff on the front page because they're the only type of people who will be uploading. They voted on it today, but I didn't hear the results. I heard that it, like, it went through, which is not good, but there's still, like, time, apparently, to, like, fix it or change their mind or something. I don't know. I haven't been able to follow it, like, super close, but I'm definitely following it enough that, like, it's been, it's been on my Twitter timeline and stuff where I've kind of, you know, figured out that it's, it's not a good thing. Yo, what's up, Wildcat? How's it going, man? But yeah, that, it, it's really crazy, and and I don't know, like I, I get it, like, but it, it it's literally it just feels like greed. It's just the corporations being greedy, wanting to police, uh, you know, the internet basically. They want to make sure that they have control over it, that we see what they want us to see. And this is not even me being like a conspiracy government theorist. Like, it's literally not about government and control. It's about money because if you control, then you can you can turn that control into money. It has nothing to do with the actual like. I don't think they actually care if, like, kids are looking at memes and stuff, but I think they want to find a way that they can, like, monopolize and generate revenue from those memes and videos and things like that and ensure that, you know, a guy like PewDiePie and a guy like KSI and, and other European YouTubers can't start to out outperform and out outpower, you know, all these built-in, like, pillars of, of entertainment and stuff. I don't know. Maybe I'm looking way too into it, but it, it's scary. Scary times, man. Nice! Oh, Wildcat, nice. I want to start collecting GBA games. I used to have one, but my mom got rid of it, and there are so many great games from the system for, like, Pokemon RPG, Sonic Advance, Mario Advance games, and... Yeah, there's some great stuff. There's definitely some great stuff on that system. Uh, I played... Um, what was the... Oh, Minish Cap. I was gonna say, yeah, what was the what was the Zelda game? Minish Cap. It's really good. You should definitely check that out if you're into Zelda at all. Uh, it affects everyone, even uh, those outside of Europe. Basically, if you upload something like Game Review, then... Excuse me, they would block your content from Europe, so if you had a huge European following, you will suffer. Exactly. Exactly. Yeah, it's scary, man. It's very scary. For streamers, for YouTubers, anyone who has started to kind of, like, make a living, or even just, like, just as a consumer, it sucks, right? Like, regardless of being, like, from the YouTube perspective, because obviously, like, I'm a YouTuber, so I, I tend to, like, look at it from that angle, but just as a consumer, I would be mad if, like, I couldn't see European creators stuff on my timeline you know there's some great like european stuff out there and i'm yeah it, it, it really sucked it really sucked the eu is a little extra first memes now so literally every copyrighted thing yeah yeah no they they're they're really trying to like put put an end to a lot of the current like wild west internet culture and really like control it and funnel it and that's not that's not good the internet is so cool because it, it's not controlled. But they know, the problem is all the telecom companies know that like no one wants to pay for cable anymore. This generation that's coming up, why would they get their entertainment from like, you know, a, an hour scripted TV show? What's, what's that? Did you figure it out? Okay. But yeah, uh, why would they, you know, do that when they can literally just go on Twitter and, and spend their time looking at tweets, on YouTube looking at video, etc etc and so if they can control that and monetize that then they're golden right will ign be able to post game reviews uh ign yes but ign europe like i i don't know i mean i think they would again because they have copyright lawyers and people in-house that would like probably help make that fine for them but it, it, it just mostly sucks if you're the little guy if you can't 
Because I guarantee this is the type of thing where, like, loopholes will be broken all the time, but only if you have the money and the influence to, like, get away with it, if, if that makes any sense. Just, like, most of the stuff. Wow. So, yeah, so Twitter would crack down, too, then. That's crazy. That's actually crazy. I don't know what's going to happen. Europe has been weird for a while about, like, all this stuff, and it's, it, it's going to be really, really bizarre to see how this all plays out. Free speech is more important than copyright. I mean, I get it. I get why, you know, still not going. It's still not going. Fine. Yeah, that's not good. Yeah. Are you in like a chat with someone? Sorry guys, we're just like I, like I warned at the beginning of the thing. We're trying to figure out some trip stuff last minute. Well, not last minute, but definitely unexpected stuff. Yo, what's up, cheerleader squid? How's it going? And yo, yo, hello! Mr. JC Trainers Union Kaninja. Hey, man. Living in the UK, you see a lot of stuff is blocked online. Yeah, it's very uh, suppressive, I guess. It's very suppressive, and I don't know, I don't think that's a good thing, but anyway, I, I hope it all gets worked out. I hope, I mean, even if it's like the next, so here's the thing, I could very much see like, you know, this government passes like all this, blah, 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 and then I could see people from opposing parties using this as a platform, like reinstating how it was as a thing. So th what I'm getting at is basically like, as much as it sucks, and it, and it could happen, and it might be hard to fight, I think eventually it will be overturned. It just might take a political cycle to get there. You know what I mean? And yo, what is up, Tuk Tuk? Not here long. It's all good, man. It's all good. Welcome, welcome, man. Some beautiful faces in here. No more pyro cynical. Unfortunately, uh, if this comes to pass, maybe not. Maybe not. Brr -pew. Hello, cheerleader squid. Bop, 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 bop. Anyway, we are maybe going to catch a shiny today. That'd be cool. I want to again point out now that more people are in here, check out the new Colosseum specific uh, Heracross model that was made by my good buddy Chris, who's also doing a shiny ribbon quest of uh, his own on his Twitch channel. You can check out all his links in the description below. But I just, again, I really want to throw that out and just, and just ha let you guys know that that model I did not make, I, I had no part in it. Uh, it was basically graciously offered up to me by Chris himself, and uh, what a wonderful gesture and wonderful thing he's doing. He's doing it for more than just Heracross too, so if you're interested in any like Colosseum specific sprite or 3D models, uh, talk to the man, because it, 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 it's awesome. Oh, that could have been bad. Did you, uh... Yo! Uh, I finally got my Eevee and Charmander from Build-A-Bear. Nice. I know you're talking about the Charmander, but that's awesome. You got both. Lolan Vulpix comes out tomorrow, and I still have 30% off coupon. Beautiful, beautiful. Nice. Pyrocynical is one of my favorite YouTubers. Royboy is one of my favorite YouTubers. Oh, did you get it now? How? Ah. Uh, right. Well, I'm sorry. Yeah, yeah. Uh, here. Oh, you, you're in the chat now. Yeah. Sorry. Sorry, guys. I'm trying to multitask. I don't know how well it's working. Also, if you notice, I'm not playing uh, the Twitch Pokemon thing tonight because our TV's not plugged in. Because uh, we're finally getting the repairs done to our apartment. You can't really see it from this angle, but, like, it's kind of super messy and, like, yeah, there's plaster everywhere. And uh, behind that TV stand, they're, they're, they're fixing the, the wall. Yeah. So that is why the TV's not on because it's literally not plugged in because if it were there'd be problems but yeah i gotta head out for now because i really should get to sleep good luck on the shiny hunt also let me know if you ever get the pickle shirt uh it said it was shipping like two or three days ago uh probably on monday so probably two days ago but yeah um i can't wait to get it man i'm definitely gonna rock it on stream and uh i think it's such a great cause again i don't know if i like you know incentivize anyone else to pick one up but i did and i love it and uh, i can't wait to can't wait to rock it man this fall i'll i'll, I'll bring it to japan with me too Go check the Build-A-Bear website, and you'll get a coupon, too! Hashtag not sponsored. But I don't need... They might. They might. But yeah, I don't need 
those Build-A-Bear ones because I got that giant Bulbasaur that my love bought me. Also, I'm trying to save my money for, like, Japanese plush and stuff from the Pokemon Centers. So I got to be careful not to, like, uh, yeah, pay too much. Because between food and just, you know, wanting to buy merch and, and just cool things you can't get here. Kit Kats, things like that. Yo, did you guys know that in Japan, like, the Kit Kats are off the chain. Like, they are crazy. Some of the flavors include wasabi, butter. I've actually had butter Kit Kats before. It's like, they coat it in, like, a butter, like, it's almost like a fondant, I guess, kind of thing. But anyway, it's weird. It's like a buttered chocolate. They have an, an energy drink, like a sports drink. Basically Gatorade, but they can't say Gator Bear. Ga Gator Bear? Gatorade, because like it's it, it's not like a you know sponsored thing. But it's insane. They also have some really good flavors, like strawberry cupcake, uh, blueberry pie. Uh, they have like a pumpkin one, because of course everything has pumpkin when it's fall. But uh, yeah, it's insane. Green tea Kit Kats. Mmm. Uh, I, I, I'm, I'm impartial, like, the green tea ones, they're not the worst, they're not, they're not the best, I, when I went last time, I had, I believe it was apricot, citrus, or orange, I can't honestly remember which one it was, but it had, like, an orangey flavor to it, uh, raspberry, or dark chocolate raspberry, butter, like I mentioned earlier, and, uh, I believe it was strawberry, strawberries and cream, I think, um, yeah, I, I I'm pretty sure those are the ones I tried, when I was out there. They also had red bean paste and, uh, oh my god, it, it, it's a type of pudding. I can't, I can't quite put my, but they had that, uh, there as well when I went. But, yeah, they're good. But I just love going because, like, there's always new flavor. I mean, I've only been once, mind you, but still, like, they always have new flavors. They always have crazy stuff. Uh, our hotel is actually near the, uh, the, like, the Kit Kat specialty shop, so that's really cool. Yeah. Yeah, it's like two minutes away. It's pretty awesome. Why Kit Kats gotta have milk in them? I'm sorry, cheerleader. I'm sorry. But yeah, they're, they're, they're so sick. And yeah, no worries, Tuck Tuck. Have a great rest of your night. Thank you for tuning in. Uh, you're, you're just about to miss my, my whole Kit Kat spiel and rant. So you're probably best off going to work, man. But uh, we love you. Take care. And maybe I'll see you next week. I really only like, I only like classic Kit Kats and white chocolate. I thought the same. But I actually really enjoyed the strawberry ones. Um... Excuse me. And the uh, the raspberry ones were pretty good, too, actually. They weren't bad. But yeah, it's exciting. It's exciting. But yeah, Kit Kats are definitely high up there. Uh, I'm also going to try to go to the Ramen Museum, because apparently uh, Japan has the world's first food-based theme park, which is super exciting. The Kit Kats are so weird. Oh, they are, but they're so delicious as well. What? I can't hear you. Uh, the dark chocolate Kit Kats. I can have the dark cocoa one. Super good. Yeah, so the ra the raspberry one I had was dark chocolate. So you probably could have had that one. But, uh, yeah. No, it's, it's, it, it, like, it's one of the weird, it, it, it's not, like, the reason I go there, obviously, but it's one of, like, the small things that, like, I have to do. Like, I was so excited the first time I went. I'm still equally as excited this time to find, hopefully, some new flavors. I had to buy some makeup so I could cover my, uh, acne for photo day. I did that once as well, actually. I think it was grade 9 or 10. I, I had some really bad uh, acne and, and zits and just blotches on my face. And uh, I, I used some of my, mo my mom's uh, concealer, I believe. It did not work. Uh, it wasn't actually awful because I didn't use much. Because I really didn't want people to be able to tell that I was using it. Because I was, you know, super impressionable and scared when I was a high schooler. But, uh, yeah, I, I, I definitely did wear some for picture day in grade nine I, I didn't the other ones but for that i think it was grade nine uh i did and yeah it, it was okay in the picture it looked fine i'm sure it was it probably was super noticeable but in the picture at least it looked fine uh you don't want to see my ridiculously huge makeup case uh is it as big as that glass cabinet with like mimikyu and controllers and stuff in it Do, 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 do. I feel like we only have one type of Kit Kat in the UK, milk. Most places do, to be honest with you. Uh, in Canada, they... Mm, that's not what I'm getting. That's Pennsylvania. Yeah. There's Niagara Falls, there's like a thing, but Pennsylvania is the main Hershey place. But uh, we do have white chocolate Kit Kats pretty regularly throughout the year here. 
Uh, now, when I was a kid, that was not the case, but recently they've kind of like, they just caught on. Yes, and once in a while, yeah, there, there are random flavors once in a while. They'll have like New York cheesecake or like Oreo Kit Kat or like, yeah, stuff like that, like cookies and cream or like mint or like just things like that. Uh, but trust me, Japan is so much crazier with their flavors. It's, it's insane. I don't have the worst acne, but not the best. Hey, that's fair, man. That's fair. I still sometimes get uh, get zits and stuff. Like, it, it happens. It's about the size of your Bulbasaur back there. That is actually still pretty massive. So, yeah. Do you have cream eggs in Canada? We do. We do. They, uh, Cadbury's cream eggs. Yeah. Yeah, we do. And they're, they're really good. I didn't really like them as a kid, but recently... They actually... I don't know if they make them there, but here at McDonald's, they make uh, Cadbury cream egg blizzard... Or, not blizzards. Uh, McFlurries during, like, the Easter season. All right, let's catch this hair cross, and then I just gotta help Nad with something real fast. Yeah, we got it. Nice. All right, I'm not. Li I'm literally right here. I just need to like. Goodbye. Sorry about that. All right, three sixty or sorry, three fifty six. Oreo Kit Kat, I want one. It's pretty good. It's pretty good. Uh, I remember when I used to love M&M's, but now they don't taste as good for me. I still... I mean, that's the thing about any food, and it's really sad, is, like, it tastes so good until you have it, like, regularly, and then it loses its, its like, luster a little bit, which is actually one of the reasons why I... Even though I now live about three-minute walking distance from a ramen shop, I still maybe only go once, twice a month, like, max. Uh, just because... I don't want it to ever feel like I'm just eating soup and it's just like part of my regular life. It's cheap, it's super inexpensive, it's it, it's easy, but like if I do it, I'm gonna like lose that like delicious flavor that like hits me so sharp, you know? Um, that's happened to me with like so many things. Like I used to love smart food popcorn, if, if anyone knows what that is, uh, like the white cheddar kind. It was like the best thing I'd ever tasted. And then after I'd had it like too many times, uh, too many grocery cycles, like, it just stopped like now it's okay to me still but like it definitely it doesn't feel like new and exciting you know hello Wetzel what's up man I'm glad to hear that you got uh, some sleep also Sonic I'm sure Nad would be saying hello back to you as well but she did she actually had to run out of the room uh, what I was helping her with was like uh, a phone call she was making to the bank so yeah smart food with pepper is amazing I've never tried the pepper one or are you saying you put pepper on it? Because I've never, I definitely never tried that either. But I mean, it could be good. Uh, Stan, have you tried the Kellogg's Unicorn cereal? It tastes like cupcakes. I have not. We don't get good cereal here in Canada. That is one thing that you guys have us absolutely just like beaten on every which way. It's like the Summer Olympics. It's you guys just own us when it comes to that. Uh, and that is good cereal. Did you get a hold of them or did you just bring? Yeah, yeah. I figured. That happened to me with Taco Bell. Yeah. Yeah, fast food places, I've done that with as well, uh, for sure, for sure. Like, Subway, I'm not as... I, I'll still have Subway, like, obviously, I think it was last week or two weeks ago, I went and got some subs for dinner, because I was starving, but, like, for the most part, there was a time where, like, I kid you not, I probably ate Subway, like, way too much. Like, probably, I had it four or five times a month, which is, like, average out to either once a week or, like, slightly more than once a week. That's a lot, and, uh, yeah... So, like, the, the, it's the bread. The bread specifically, like, now, it doesn't taste as good as it used to. It tastes a lot more, like, processed to me. Yeah. But, yeah, Pop-Tarts are another thing. When I was a kid, I loved Pop-Tarts. Now, they taste, like, just, like, sugary candy to me, and that's not good for breakfast, at least. I love my Canadian family and the country itself, but the USA's junk food is better. So much better. The Oreos, the cereal, the Pop-Tarts. I mean, I know I just said Pop-Tarts, but... Uh, the Eggo waffle flavors, the uh, the frozen foods especially, the the foods you get at the fast food places, like the little desserts and stuff that you can get there, are so much better. I remember we went to Burger King in like New York City, and it had this like super crazy milkshake with like tons of like sh like just things on top. I can't remember it exactly, obviously, but it was like everything you could imagine in this friggin' milkshake. Uh, I think they called it like the ultimate shake or something. This is back in two thousand and nine, I think. Yeah, I was young. I was young when I was there, but uh, yeah, it was it was crazy, and we never had anything like. We still to this day haven't had anything like that here for for Burger King at least. 
Uh, I remember JPB tried to send me the Mario cereal, but it never came. Oh, that's too bad. I need to get myself some, some of that Mario cereal as well. I wonder if it tastes good. Probably not, but maybe. I always lose weight when I go back to Canada for an extended period of time. I remember, so I was actually like a pretty skinny, thin kid. And then I went to like my babysitters and she had like a snack cupboard for the first time ever. I went from basically having like three regimented meals a day to like having snacks after school. And they're always the most sugary, like it was like Joe Louis and zebra cakes and Swiss rolls and uh, just like suit, like cookies, like just crazy, crazy junk food. And uh, it didn't take me long. It was like shortly after I started going there that like I started becoming a little chubby kid. And uh, I'm glad in hindsight that I was a little chubby kid. But uh, yeah, definitely I can like specifically pinpoint it to that like moment of of like going there and, and all of a sudden like knowing what junk food was. Because like I'd had gushers and fruit roll ups and things like that in my snack, but they were always like really small. Hmm? You know what? Oh, trade. What do you trade? Who traded their gushers for your, like, rutabaga? Carrots. Wow. Aren't you lucky that that your, uh, your friends traded you for your carrot sticks? Maybe they had a crush on you. Do you ever think about that? Yeah, but they might have still had crushes. Kids are weird. Um, I'm eating Oreos as we speak. I love Oreos as well. Though I'm a fan of just the traditional, like there's so many flavors out there and there, there's some good ones. But now that I've, I've had Double Stuffed and I've had Golden and I've had Birthday Cake and I've had all these various, I've had peanut butter, I think they had a peanut butter jelly one. If not peanut butter jelly, it was like peanut butter chocolate. I don't know. But I've had like all these various Oreos throughout my existence. And now I just honestly, I like the thin ones or, or the just regular Oreos. Bro, I'm still a fat kid. Man, honestly, I'm not gonna lie to you, Wetzel. Some, sometimes I am as well. And I don't mean that metaphorically. I mean, like, I definitely go through uh, phases where I, like, put on a lot of weight. And then I usually, like, you know, get rid of it through the summers or something. But, uh, yeah. Hibernation. Yes, you got it, Nad. I wish, though, that I could just sleep all the time, too. I still, I don't get to sleep through my hibernation. In my life, I've been very underweight, overweight, obese, and I'm normal now. I, uh, I don't know if I've ever been obese, but I've definitely been underweight. When I uh, was working construction in Alberta, I got down to about 132 pounds, I think, which was like, yeah, that's not that was not good for, for a guy of my age and height at the time. Uh, I was very, not I, I wasn't quite to the point where I was looking sickly, but it wasn't good either. Like, it, it definitely, uh, so I've been there. I've definitely been overweight, and I've definitely been actually, like, in good shape as well. Uh, and, yeah. They all, like, are what they are, but, um, yeah, I just, I, if, if anything, though, I should be better. It's apparently really bad to, like, constantly be in flux with your body like that, like, be, be underweight, then overweight, then underweight, then fit, then under, like, to keep going, which I definitely do, uh, to my poor body. It's apparently really not good for, like, your heart and stuff, uh, so I gotta be, like, I, I, for the, since I started working at my new job and have, like, some more routine in my life, I've been keeping pretty stable, I think, which has been good. Oh, wow, one shot at Maribel. I wish there were more Pokemon Centers in North America and Europe. Man, there's not even a single Pokemon Center in, um, in, like, Canada. Like, there's, we can't even order from the website. It's crazy. It sucks. All right, Slam and Nepo. He must be having dinner. My body's either Kingpin or Jack Black. Dad body, no in between. Oh my god. That's great. What what a great analogy. Oh yeah, man. I looked like a skeleton for a while. Thyroid problems. Oh yeah. I actually, uh, I had an aunt who, who had some thyroid stuff as well. It was not fun. So, uh, but I'm glad to hear that you, you've got, you know, it sounds like at least like somewhat of a, of a like head start on it. Because she, she, she kind of got blindsided by it, which was not good. Uh, Bo Peak, you're living. I love it. There are Pokemon Centers in America. Well, there's a website. I don't think there's any actually in America anymore. There's the Nintendo World Store where you can get, like, Pokemon stuff. Hmm? Yeah. But, uh, yeah, I, I don't think you can actually get, uh, like, Pokemon 
in, uh, or like, yeah, there's, there's not like a dedicated Pokemon Center anymore. There used to be, though. There used to be. And then they shut it down, and then some things changed, and now they're back as like a website, finally. But, uh, Tokyo has a lot, and I'm really excited to go there and get what I can get. Bo Peak. Build a Bear is basically Canadian Pokemon Center. Well, not really, though, even. Like, you're more, you're better off, honestly, going to like a flea market or something. Like, it's, it, it's. Right. Well, sometimes they're official. I don't know. Yeah, I, I know what you're saying too, though, Nad. Yes. Yes, Pacific Mall. Specifically. Hello! Yo, Zane. I'm busy sending out gifts and hatching eggs, getting ready for tomorrow. Oh, this man's going to co uh, complete his Kanto decks. I can tell. It's tomorrow. Wow, the 13th. That snuck up on us. Yeah. No, that's exciting. I, I, I'm, I've cleared out my eggs as well, uh, getting ready for it. Did you, you, you knew about this, right? I told you about this? You can get for the first time. So Mewtwo's gonna be in like regular raids. Oh yeah. Uh, you can get the legendary birds in raids again. It's it's not just tomorrow. It's for like I think I think some stuff is a week. Some stuff lasts like a month. It's crazy. But the really cool thing that I'm really excited about personally, you can finally get the regional exclusives in Friend Eggs. So you should add everybody in the Discord and get as many people as you can. Yeah, but okay. Well, you should try to clear those and, and walk. <laughs> anyway, anyway, uh, but yeah, so like you can finally get a Farfetch, Kangaskhan, Mr. Mime here. I didn't. So this is Nadia's bag. It's her little baby purse. She really wanted me to show you guys. Specifically, I think she really wanted to show Genji guy. So yeah, Genji, this is for you. Oh, I'm not even really showing it up. It's a Vulpix like purse bag thing. It says Pokemon Loungefly on it, if you're interested in getting one for yourself. I'm not sponsored by them. I'm not promoted. Box lunch. Bo box lunch is a word that was just yelled at me. <laughs> I keep getting those eggs from Nad. Are you sending Cheerleader Squid all the eggs? That's good. That's good. Uh-oh. I might have to just run to the washroom, too. I had dinner for the, for the first time maybe ever before a stream, excluding last night. Uh, I had dinner... Like, right before I ate. So I also was drinking a lot of water and stuff. And uh, I might have to go to the bathroom. Okay. I will be right back, guys. Nad, do you want to entertain people while I'm done? You don't have to play. Just, I'll be right back. Nad's going to come on stream and talk about her purse more. I'll be right back. I just got to go to the bathroom. Oh, my God. I look terrible, though, today. Hi. <laughs> oh, how do you see this? Okay. I need to move. You're too tall for this. Or for me. I'm not touching anything. Hello. How are y'all today? Hope it doesn't take a long time. Oh, and if you guys want to add me on Pokemon Go, I uh, put my number thing on the Discord under the Pokemon Go thing. So I will send you gifts. <laughs> I'm good. I only worked one job today for five hours, so basically I had a day off. It was beautiful. But we had our apartment being fixed, so I had to, uh, I went out for sushi by myself for lunch. That was my day. You sound like Mabel. So I want to say that's from a cartoon that I haven't watched because I watch is anime and box burgers. Oh good, cheerleader squid. I'm so excited that we're friends on that because then, yeah, we could send stuff and then I can actually get more stuff because usually I, I just have Stan, so I we, I don't get much. And then I see his Pokemon Go and all you guys friended him and he just every day gets a bunch of stuff. So now I get a little bit more. I haven't seen, oh, so Gravity Falls. No, I haven't. So basically my TV life is animes and Bob's Burgers and Brooklyn Nine-Nine. That's all I watch. Oh, I love the new, so like, cause we moved from a small town into the city. Pokemon Go is so much fun. I literally play it like when I'm going to work, when I have my breaks at work. It's so easy, you can catch so much here with like no effort. Where there you had to literally drive to a lake or to, like a closer city. Oh, oh, I'm so excited for Tokyo. I'm so excited. I've never, so I've never been on a trip 
that isn't um, Niagara Falls, basically. Um, and I haven't been on a plane, so I am extremely excited, and I'm saving all my money. I'm going to buy every single thing that I like. And then, when Stan comes back and streams, I will probably be showing you all, because I will be so excited about my pretty things. Ah, uh, yes! Okay, Bob's Burgers is beautiful, and I wish my family was the Belchers. Like, I'm basically trying to convince Stan to open up a burger shop and for us to have three children. And they will all be named after the three children. That's my life. That's all I want in my life, is to be the Belchers. Oh, what? I'm talking about how our life is going to be the Belchers' life. Oh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, well, if the Belchers don't have hand towels in their bathroom because of uh, construction, then we are the Belchers. <laughs> Thanks for taking over the fort, Nad. I appreciate it. Hi, guys. I'm back. I know I'm not as good as Nad, but... It's fine, though. It's fine. I hope you got some new friend codes for your Pokemon. My family is the Belchers. We even, we even own a cafe. <laughs> That's awesome. I think one of the girls in Bob's Burgers actually voices Mabel from Gravity Falls. You are correct! You are correct. It is uh, Kristen or Kirsten Shaw? I think it's Kristen Shaw. Louise uh, is Mabel. Yeah. What was that show? Was oh, Last Man on Earth. Stan, name your kids Mabel and Dipper. But Nat hasn't even seen Gravity Falls. Oh, okay. But yeah, she hasn't seen it, so it wouldn't do like she'd be like, why? If if we have a kid, she wants to name it Weinston, I believe, or Weinston. Nine nine. <laughs> Louise. So they basically said you sound like Louise. Yeah, it's the same voice. So to show you what I have, my little Louise collection. She's my favorite person. You're not needed here. She's I mean, I'm my favorite. To play. You don't need to. She's my favorite, and I want. I, I, so it, thank you for calling me Louise, because that's how I'm going to take your name. I know the bunny hat, but I don't know what this thing is. Yeah, it's I haven't... Okay, I haven't watched enough Bob's Burgers still. I've watched a lot of it, I just don't know what that specific thing is. Winston, duh. So Stan, what do you think of the Tron Room? Uh, it looks really good, man. It was on Roy's Discord, which I don't think you're in, so... Yeah, I mean, that's your own fault. That's your own fault, but yeah. No, it looks good, man. It looks really good. Congrats. Although, never stay up that late again, okay? Don't don't hurt yourself. Uh, Kristen Shaw is going to be in Toy Story 4. Uh, she was in Toy Story 3, so yeah. Yeah. I think she was Trixie, the, the Triceratops. Yeah. I know I seem energetic on here, but I'm basically Tina IRL. Oh. <laughs> I don't know. That was an awful, but yeah. Nat's just like giggling in the corner. It's great. All right, come on. Let's catch this hair across. Hair crossing fields. It was a total of over 36 hours. Why? Why would you do? Well, you should change your name to Whitesell. Whitesell, would you do that to yourself? Ever? Did you ever look up that shiny hatching thing in Sun and Moon? Uh, I still have not. No. I mean, honestly, to, to be perfectly honest with you, Alex. Unless, like, someone sends me a link to it, like, in the Discord, I will probably not do it until, like, I go back and shiny hunt again in Sun and Moon. Um, but, yeah. It, it, it's nothing against the, the methodology or anything. It's just, like, some days it feels like I don't have enough time as it is to, like, get through all these, like, Coliseum uh, soft resets. So, like, the last thing I'm doing is, is looking up, like, Sun and Moon strats, basically. But, uh, like I said, if I ever get back into that game, if I ever try to, you know... Oh, wow! One HP left. Nice. But yeah, uh, not reclaim, but if I ever do try to, like, go back and, you know, get whether it ends up being, like, Regirock or Entei or Type Null or another Pokemon that we were supposed to get and then we, like, kind of gave up on, um, then I, I might use those strats. We'll see. Uh, I'm collecting stuff for my goth room. It's prime spooky time. Well, do I know a spooky place for you, then? It's called a graveyard. And you should, no, do not, do not go to a graveyard and, and collect props. 
That is awful. What? Are you, what are you saying? Also, uh, I'm not gonna lie. I might, uh, I might not catch this Heracross. I might die before I get it. We've never had this happen before. I've killed the Heracross before off, off stream. But, uh, yeah, we got full HP on both these guys, which is good. Heracross is paralyzed, but if we don't catch it soon, like, Brick Break, oh, nice. That actually worked out good for us. But yeah, it's, uh, it's getting down to the wire here. I will send you the vid on Twitter so Nad can see. We are not friends on Discord. Yeah, I uh, I basically literally don't have anybody mostly like on Discord under friends anymore because one bad egg spoiled the bunch, or one bad apple, I guess, spoiled the bunch. But yeah, I think I've explained that before. I had to like basically just like completely clear. I didn't want any DMs in uh, in Discord. I think the only people I have left, I literally added Nad today for like a thing I had to discuss with her. Uh, and then also, uh, I have Roy, and I think, I, basically, if I had someone on Skype before Discord, like, was a thing, I kept them. Uh, uh, GU Fake, thank you for the sub, and welcome to the Stampede. Uh, yes, how'd you know? But it was on the Switch, so you shouldn't have been able to hear it. Anyway. Oh, true, yeah, yeah good point. Grave Robbing. I have a jar labeled Crush Skull Dust that I leave in my spare change in. Nice. And that person was Roy. Yeah, I remember you talking about the bad egg. Yeah, it sucks because it like it ruined, but like I just know that I'm the type of person like if I start opening them up to like one person and then it turns into two because then I feel bad about exclude like you know what I mean? So it's better it sucks, but it's kind of like if like it's better to have nobody than to like slowly go down that slope where it's like everybody again. Uh yeah. It just, it just got overwhelming, and it, and it became too much. And, again, I know it sucks, and I, I'm really sorry, man. But, uh, what about Twitter? Twitter, you, you still have me on, on Twitter, right? Ba, 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 ba. Already got... Oh, sorry, I, I totally missed Shicey left. Sorry, Shicey. I don't know if you're still watching, but if you are, have a great rest of your night. If not... Uh, then I will hopefully see you Monday, and, uh, yeah, I hope, I hope you end up having a great weekend. I can tell. Beep, boop, beep, boop, boop, beep, boop. But isn't it fine? Like, you can't get out oh, oh, both, right? Oh, so then that means you never would have even had the other one both. Because you never had the email address. That's what I mean, though. So you're already paid, so y you shouldn't be freaking out because it'll be fine. Yeah, I said I was sending it to you. Oh, okay, okay. Tell Nat I sent her a request. In Pokemon Go? Bum, 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 bum. Booty doo. Oh, that could have been bad. Wasn't paying attention, sorry, for a sec. I was reading chat. And almost just destroyed this. You have a pogo? All right. Send out something good. So far, so good. Have you ever seen my collection on Twitter? I've just barely started collecting plushies, but I'm at about seven. I don't think I have Heartbreaker. Your Instagram DMs are still activated, I think. Uh, they might be. Like, you might be able to send me a message, but I actually don't see the message. Like, if that makes any sense. Like, it's blocked on my part, unless we're friends. Like, if, unless I'm following you, I don't think I see the message or, or so, something like that. So, yeah. How rare is it to come across shiny Pokemon? Uh, Mega Bird! Hello! Oh, wow. What a voice crack that was. But, uh, yeah, Mega Bird, what's up? Um, it's very rare. It's incredibly rare. I mean, this is our eighth Heracross stream, so our fourth week in. Uh, and the odds are basically 1 in 8,000. By the end of tonight's stream, we're probably only going to be at, like, like, around 370, maybe 375. So, I mean, when you put it, like, that way, it starts to become, like, really clear how long this could take, you know? Mind you, uh... I definitely feel like I, I'm a little under the amount of encounters I would like because I didn't really get to do any this past, like, week between streams. Um, usually I try to do a few, like, off-stream, but that didn't happen this time. 
And Heracross. Okay, not a critical hit. Nice. But yeah, it's super rare. It's super rare, Mega Bird. I haven't been on Pokemon Go in the last year. Is it worth going back on? Uh, it's fun. It's definitely a better game than it was a year ago. That I can absolutely uh, say. Mind you, I got back into it because I moved to the city. And I think I heard Nad saying this while I was like in the bathroom. But yeah, it's, like there's just so much more that you can do when you're in the city than you could when we were in like a small farm town. Yeah, exactly. It keeps you motivated. It's easy to just like pick up and play when you're just like bored walking home to and from work or going yeah also yeah our, our apartment has like a weird glitch sometimes where it like sends us like across the city yeah it's really good it's really good nintendo directs us tomorrow please give us a release date of luigi's mansion it's coming out october 31st and that hair cross is uh it's not a shiny but hey but hey we're still going we're still going. We're just getting started. We haven't even been streaming a, an hour yet. I think tonight we're going to be going, you know, probably probably two, two and a half. Somewhere in between there, as, as usual. We'll see how... If these if these Heracross start behaving and we start getting them really quick, then it will definitely be able to get to, like, 375. If not, uh, if they go like the... So far, they've all been very average, I would say, actually. Like, I've been rambling and I had to go to the bathroom and stuff, so that's on me. But overall, they're, they're kind of right where... I, I think they would be. It, it looks like we're going to be able to get like 11 in an hour, which is, that, that's pretty good. That's pretty good. Um, but if they start going the way of like, it takes like, you know, seven, eight netballs every single time like they were the last time, then yeah. Halloween is probably my second favorite holiday of the year after Arbor Day, right? It's kind of messed up that it can be shiny for that trainer, but as soon as you catch it, it will be normal. It is super messed up. Um, we're hoping we never even get to that point and see that happen. But yeah, unfortunately... It can happen, and uh, it doesn't really mean anything. Like, it'll feel like it really sucks, but the truth is we still have, the, like, the same odds as that trainer. Just because that trainer gets a shiny doesn't... Like, it could literally be the next one or 10 after or whatever encounters after that we get it. Because um, we're still... Like, our odds are our... That's hard to say that. Our odds are our odds, if that makes any sense. And his odds are his. So... It's the same with, like, the Golden Poochiana. Just because, you know, a Golden Pooch might show up doesn't mean that we might not get one soon afterwards, you know, of, of our own. Not not Golden Pooch, but Starter. Uh, oh, nice, Wetzel. Nice. My favorite holiday of the year is Christmas. Christmas? Christmas? Merry Christmas, movie house. No. It's Christmas time. ha <laughs> ha. It's coming out 10, 12. I can't wait. It's coming out October 12th. Is it really? I, I, I'm making a necklace right now. Anybody want to see it in the Discord later? Yeah, post that. Post that-ish. Yeah. Yo, Pika Sage, what's up? Beady do. doo All right. Let's get us our 361st Heracross. Nat, Nad's all upset right now because she's trying to, like... Uh, get in touch with Roy Boy, and he's not responding. She has a very important question for him. Yeah, how does he get his hair? So fluffy. How does he get it? Oh, that was actually a fast one. She wants to know how Roy gets his hair so fluffy and beautiful. I'm honestly just hoping that, like, because it's seen the last few streams. Whenever we discuss Roy on stream, he like <laughs> pops up. Yeah. Oh, Sandy, did you see my cup? Sorry, did you see my Cuphead painting on Discord? I haven't. Tag me. Tag me. Oh, yeah, I forgot. I, that happened so quickly that I didn't even... But, yeah, what, what were you going to say, Ned? Roy, tell me what product you use. Roy's, Roy's not there right now. Okay, what's his name? Annoy Boy, yes. <laughs> yes, that's him. Yeah, my mom told me I can't make fun of her anymore for having the Christmas tree up early. It, it, I mean, it, it's basically Christmas time all the time, right? Even in June. I'm only here because my Christian Minecraft server is updating. Not really. <laughs> That's where Roy definitely is right now, though. He's in a Christian Minecraft server. Yeah. It's to keep all the all the sinners out. Yo, Video Master! What's up, man? Hey, Roy, Canada is a part of America. Oh, I see. I see what Wetzel's doing. Smart, smart. Canada is part of America. My hair's like that, Nat. I leave my conditioner in while I wash, and I braid it loosely before I go to bed. Wait, that's your leader's good. Oh, okay. Are you saying that you and Roy have identical hair? Is that is that what this is about? Give a few minutes, he will be here. That's true, man. That's true. 
nothing uh, enrages him quite like quite like a, a Wetzel a Wetzel Canada myth. Sob, do you play Spider Man? I uh, I really want to get it actually. I just have to. I literally have to go to the game store to pick it up, and I haven't had time because uh, I my PS4 was like weird, and I had to fix some stuff with the uh, like network, uh, and I did. But since then, I've been streaming every night. So I'm not I'm not saying you guys are the reason I haven't played Spider Man yet. But like, no, I'm kidding. I'm kidding. I could literally go anytime after work and grab it. I just I've been lazy. I'll probably do it Friday night to be honest, uh, just because it's like you know end of the week. I can stay up that night and play it. But yeah. I had to, like, update my PS Pro and change some email address and stuff. Uh, is it just me, or do you kind of look like the main guy? The main guy from The Grinch Who Stole Christmas? The Grinch. Uh, Stan, have you seen my hair? It's so fluffy. Oh, you mean the main guy in the in the game. No, my, I wish my hair was as sick as that. I wish. I wish. Or I had a sick, like, blue and red trench coat. It looks like it's, it's, it's the most immaculate leather I've ever seen. What? I don't know. Huh. Oh, it's just, it's, it, it's a third party app. Yeah. Yeah. I don't use that one, but like, that is definitely one that, that exists out there. But anyway. Uh, when I grow it out, it's just a Hermione Granger poop. Nat had that when she was a kid, too, actually. Uh. On Nintendo's website, it says it's coming out on October 12th. Nice, Sonic. So you already got your answer. That's beautiful. People on September 1st. No, summer's gone. People November 1st. Let it snow, let it snow, let it snow. That is absolutely true. Dude, I would love some snow. I guess, yeah. I personally could do without it, but I don't think... I don't think I'm going to get my wish on that. And yo, Espeon, living this. Nice. What a hero. What a hero. All right. We, the last one was really quick. Maybe this one will also be quick. We'll, we'll see. We'll see. Come on, baby. Hey, Stan, do you have a favorite DC hero? Uh, probably Batman at this point, which I know is super like, overrated. Everyone says Batman. Uh, I really like Green Lantern. He's up there, but I think he needs to be in more things like of, of note. Um, but yeah, uh, probably Batman. Probably Batman. I think Batman is just a character that like any story that's out there like in terms of DC... I feel like it only gets better with Batman, never worse, if that makes any sense. I feel the same way with the Joker as well. I feel like the Joker is the best when it's just like, when he's just kind of like, he's not the main villain, but he's like the chaos around the villain, like uh, around the hero and villain. So like uh, Under the Red Hood, um, uh, The Dark Knight Returns, where he's not like, he's not like the end all be all villain. He's not like the climax, but he like, makes the story better because of his presence uh batman like the animated series movie Ma mask of the phantasm again like kind of similar thing you do not want canadian snow wetzel i almost just went the wrong way uh i got stuck in quebec for an extra month last year because of it that is true and yo video master with the donation thank you man thank you so much it's been a it's been a while it's been a while since since i've gotten any donation. that's crazy thank you uh hey buddy i've enjoyed watching these streams and can't wait to see you get it such a neat idea. It's definitely different. It's definitely different. Uh, I don't know how success... I mean, it will eventually be successful, but in terms of, like, the amount of time to be put in, I don't know how successful it's going to end up being, but it will definitely be worth it. It will feel so good when this beautiful blue boy or girl finally sparkles for us. But uh, either way, thank you for the kind words, and thank you for the donation as well. Video master hype. Can we get some videotape emotes in the chat? If you, if, if you got them, if you got them, and you don't mind, uh, give this man some love. Thank you so much, man. Seriously. I was really not expecting that. So that's, uh, that's really awesome of you. You the man. And I hope, I really do hope we catch this. It'd be so cool if we got this under a thousand. It's not impossible, though, once more, it is super unlikely. Uh, but as I always say, we got like, uh, we got Totodile fairly quickly in, uh, Heart Gold. And that had the same odds as this Heracross. And, uh, even though it was like, there were three available ones, we still, we got really lucky on that. So maybe we'll get kind of lucky on this. Who knows? Maybe, obviously, we're not getting that lucky. But maybe maybe something will happen. Maybe we'll get a miracle. That's the only exception. Uh, I like cold more than heat because I can change what I'm wearing in the winter. During summer, the best thing I can do is a tank top and shirts. I understand that for sure. That, that makes sense because I also like being able to layer up. But mind you, in Canada, the snow sometimes gets so bad that it ruins whatever you wear. And so it's like... 
it's the difference of like, oh no, you can't wear your best stuff versus like, oh no, my coat is now ruined uh, because the snow absolutely like that's and the wind just like destroyed it. Or like my boots are ruined. Yeah. You're like sweating. Yeah. Nad makes good points. I don't know if you heard them because she might be far, too far from the mic. But yeah, basically like winter in Canada just is... Yeah. It's, yeah, it's brutal. And we don't even have it that bad. If I'm being honest, here in, like, yeah, southern Ontario, like, we're not that bad off. Uh, it's, like, my friends in Quebec and Ottawa and, like, Winnipeg, and, like, they get it. They get it way worse than us. I like the cold. I'm very warm-blooded. Maybe that's because you grew up more in, like, the, in the heat. Th I don't know. I don't know. Maybe, like, obviously I'm just assuming, but, yeah. Uh, I swear it takes me three hours to try to evolve my Eevee. Uh, also, Deadpool is the best DC. I'm joking, he's Marvel. I mean, he could be whatever he wants, you know? As long as there's chimichangas, Deadpool will be there. Um, Stan, hi! Proteon, what's up, man? And yo, a carton of milk, cry, angel. Hello, everybody, from the Stream Egg family. What's up, guys? Congratulations, uh, Stream Egg, on the 1,000 subscribers. That is huge, man. Seriously, that is uh, absolutely fantastic. Congrats. And yo, Mindless as well. Hello, hello. But yeah, I love what you're doing over there, and uh, thank you, thank you so much, seriously, for the uh, for the for the big raid yet again, yet again, man. You the best, you the best, and uh, you definitely deserve even more subs. It's not gonna be long, man. You're gonna hit 5,000 before you know it. Seriously, just keep at it and uh, keep killing it with the content, man. I remember watching Chuck Conroy's Luigi's Mansion Let's Play when I was seven via dial-up. I wish I was joking. Uh, yeah. Nice, thank you, Stream Egg. Thank you so much. Hello, hello, friend. Hello. Hype, hype, hype. Yeah. I mean, I'm not gonna lie. I wish that Shiny Hunting Heracross was hype, but thanks uh, to Chris, Stream Egg, we have. Oh, Karai9 Angel, thank you for the sub and welcome to the Stampede. Um, seriously, thank you so much. But yeah, thanks to Chris, we have that beautiful 3D model of Coliseum Heracross. It's so cool, it's spectacular. And I'm still super, super lucky uh, that 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 he, he emailed me that and let, allowed me to use it. If you guys don't know who I'm talking about, please follow the links in the description and check out Chris because it is just absolutely crazy. Um, and he's doing basically what I'm doing, but he's so much further. He's already got his shiny, and uh, it's it, it's amazing. It's amazing, Bluno, Bluno the Feraligator. Yeah, thank you so much, Cry. I pre I appreciate that seriously. We're getting closer to a thousand on this channel ourselves. We're slowly but surely. Oh, thank you. Yeah, Corito. That's awesome. That's awesome. Uh, Louis, and yeah, as Wetzel said, thank you so much to the Raiders out there who uh, who hung out. You helped us catch. You brought the luck with you. We caught this hair across faster than usual, so that is a great thing. Oh, thank you so much. Stream Egg, you're, you're the man. You're the man. Thank you so much. Uh, the AC is broken at school, and it's blowing freezing cold air. It's 15 degrees Celsius in the humid. Wow, that is uh, pretty cold. Chugga Conroy was a big part of my childhood. Chugga Conroy is a big part of my adulthood. Uh, he, like, literally, I feel like I learned this game through watching his LP of it. Excuse me. Um, so it's made it, like, not so bad and not so, like, intimidating. But yeah. I'm too old to have that as my childhood. <laughs> Yes, that's, uh, that's how I feel a little bit too. But yeah, that's the great thing about Pokemon, is it brings people together from, like, all sorts of age groups and, you know, at just, at just every place and every time that you can think of. I've, I've seen old, elderly, like, 70-year-old grandmothers uh, trying to catch Venonats in Pokemon Go, and I've seen, you know, young, like, two-year-olds, like, pretending to play Pokemon cards. Uh, yo, Video Master with another donation! Thank you so much yet again, dude! I like shorts. They are comfy and easy to wear. Hashtag random hype. Thank you so much. Video Master Hype. Can we get some love for Video Master in the chat? Thank you so much, man. For another tip, uh, that's that's crazy. And uh, just thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, did I say thank you? But yeah, seriously, you were awesome. And uh, so in Black and White 2, there is a girl who makes some sort of like reference to the the shorts thing i forget exactly what the quote is but it's so funny because it's like she's talking about something that doesn't even like make sense it's like i it, it's like i love i love wearing backpacks they're comfy and easy to wear so like okay that would actually make sense that's not a good example but it was something like that and it was hilarious otaku zone what's up what's up how you been uh so when i come on stream i normally try to get the streamer to hold their arms in the air and say 
Way, lol, can you do it? Like, like, way? Or hey? Way? I can try, I can try. Ah, uh, Chugga Conroy was my childhood. I watched him play Paper Mario, and I went out, searched my sock drawer for money, and bought it. Nice. I'm gonna play Ultimate Custom Knight. Do it. Oh my god, I forgot about your Charizard Plus. Yeah, it doesn't get as much, like, work as it used to, but he's still here, and I can't wait when I do go to Tokyo later in this year. Uh, I can't wait to add, hopefully, to, to the plush. Maybe we'll have a new rep. Uh, I don't know who it'll be. Normally, I'd be like, oh, it'll be Mimikyu or Umbreon, but I actually have both of them as plushes, my two favorite Pokemon. So I think it'll be something that you wouldn't even expect, because Charizard's probably not even in my top 20 favorite Pokemon, uh, and yet he was kind of like the stream, or tip at least, like master, I guess, of streams. So uh, I don't know who the new one will be. I'm going to try to do it purposely so it's something no one expects. Oh, the line is the dress is... Okay, fair enough. So that's actually not that weird then. I, I remembered it wrongly, I suppose. I remembered it being like something like completely out there. Uh, I don't play Pokemon as much as I used to, but the games are still great. Yeah, they really are. They really are. They're fantastic. They're always full of life. Even the ones that people like to, you know, give crap to. Uh, they're, they're, they're really, really inventive, and there's a lot of, like, love poured into them for sure. Uh, I need to play, I need to replay Paper Mario. I, I have not played the original Paper Mario since, like, I rented it on the N64 when I was a kid. Like, we're talking probably, like, I don't know when it came out, probably 2000? Yeah. Oricorio, how's your hunt going? Dark Shadow, what's up? Uh, it's going okay. It's, it's, it's going about as good as it can go. Uh, given the game, given the nature, and given... Uh, the target that we're trying to go after. But it is going still fairly well. I, I definitely am not sick of it yet, which is a good thing. Because uh, if, I, if I was sick of it now, then that, that would not bode well since we, we probably still have quite a while to go. But we're working our way up. My goal, I'd like to sometime, like, before October, I'd like to have, like, six or 700, I guess? What, what day is it now? I mean, even more than that, maybe. Before I leave for my trip to Japan, I really want to have, like, 1,500. That's my goal, encounters, by the time I go to Japan. Um, which is like late October, so if not more, that'd be great if we could get more, but it's just finding the time to do it off stream. Uh, cause that's when I make the most progress, cause like, I'm just like, like, dead centered focus, like, on it. Uh, but yeah, I love Super Paper Mario. One of the most underrated, uh, games on the, the Wii. Uh, and also Chugga, Chugga Conroy's, um, like, let's play of that game is also really great as well. Way! Use a Yamask, Dunsparce, wait, Cricketune. Pokemon games are bay. They're great. Make the donation, hype, money, fave mon, my little form-changing burb. Oh, I see what you're saying, Oricorio. See, the problem is, now that you've guessed it, I don't know if I could, I, I don't know if I was gonna, but like, even if I, I had thought about it, I don't know if I can now. I, it needs to be someone that, something that no one out there is expecting, you know? We'll see. Yeah, no worries, Stream Egg. Thank you so much again for the raid. Guys, can we get some Stream Egg hype in the chat? Thank you for the raid. Uh, as you're leaving, we catch another Heracross as well, which is great. Thank you so much, man, for everything. I really do appreciate it. And, uh, yeah, you're, you're absolutely fantastic. Again, congrats. You definitely deserve all the success you've had this past week and beyond. And uh, take care, dude. Take care. I'll, I'll see you soon. And thanks for the pro way. I'm trying, man. I'm trying. I'm trying to, trying to spirit bomb the hype, you know? But, yeah, thanks, man. And 364. But yeah, I think we're going to try to go for 375 today. Again, if it starts getting really painful like these encounters, sometimes they'll go to like seven like turns, which in this game is a really long time because there's four Pokemon on screen usually uh, doing things. So yeah, it, it takes a long time. And you can't turn battle animations off either, uh, unlike the, the handheld games. So you're kind of stuck like just, just getting through it. Uh, one turn at a time. So hopefully it doesn't go to seven. Uh, the average is usually around three turns if, if you're new to this. So yeah. Wait, what happened to your subscribers? What do you mean? This is uh, my second channel. I've turned my second channel into more of like a streaming channel. And I'm, I'm saving. I will be making a comeback to my main channel. But I need to really prepare better for it. Uh, I could just put out like a random video. Probably next week if I really wanted to. But it wouldn't be, I think, I think I want to come back in a big way and I want to be able to like sustain it. I want to have enough ideas and planning ahead. And I've been doing that in, 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 in the, in the background. The only reason it's taking me this long is because like with my job, plus this project, plus all the other things that just happen in regular occurrence. Like today we had a whole thing with, with the trip that I had to address and other, like we had a flood one night. Like 
things like that, like life, all those things combined, uh, it's been hard to get through um, Pokemon uh, Black and White 2. I, I definitely was not able to do it as fast as I would like, but again, I'm aiming to have that review out before I go on my trip. Hello! Hello, Barley! Barrels and barrels of hay on the ranch. Barrels and barrels of hay. If Barley goes out and he gets in a dance, maybe he'll find a nice mate. I don't know. By the way, I had a job interview today. Nice, Wildcat. Congratulations. I played Thousand Year Door. Vivian and Coops clutched it. Nice. I haven't played that game. I, I really need to. Bro, you need me? Hit me. There's a reason I'm called God Tier. Hey, Barley. Black and White 2 falls off towards the end. Does it, Bar? Does it? My in-depth review will, will answer that question once and for all. Uh, I enjoyed it. I definitely... Like, I'm almost done it now. I, I'm basically at the Elite Four, and then I got some post-game, obviously, but, uh... The main campaign, I'm pretty much through, and, uh, it's good. I don't think it, it quite hit me in the same way. Again, I, I've explained this on stream before, but I think it's just the freshness of black and white. You're, you're expecting it, excuse me, in, uh... In black and white too. That doesn't mean it's a bad game. That doesn't even mean it's 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 an average game. It's it's a great game. I just I don't know. I don't know. I I, I want to finish it. I want to get through the post game. Then I'll make like a real judgment call. But I think uh, I think it, it it's on par with black and white. But I, I do think that like the novelty of it is is gone a little bit the second time around. Especially when you do it like right back to back. Um, when it actually came out initially, it was like great. It was it was still so good. It was a nice little return. I'd only been not playing uh, like. Black and White, I'd only put down for, like, I don't know, less than a year, and then Black and White 2 came out, so it worked out really nice for me. That was, like, the perfect amount of time between them. Bye, Stan. Yesterday I went to the doctors uh, to help my stress and anxiety, and until next time, stay fresh. I'm glad to hear it went okay, and uh, take care of yourself, Sonic, and you know we're here if you need us, and I will definitely check out uh, your stuff in the Discord once I am done the stream, of course. Do you like Rush Ram or Zekrom more? I like Rush Ram more, so I do like Zekrom more... But funny enough, I, I think it would have been completely different. I actually wanted to play uh, Pokemon Black instead of Pokemon White, and they didn't have it at the Walmart where I was buying it. This is before, like, Amazon was really, like, super popular. I, didn't, I don't even know if I had a credit card. I think I was, like, 17, not even 18 yet. So Amazon was out of the question. All they had at the Walmart was Black version. It had been on the shelves for, like, two years at that point, I think. Maybe, maybe a year. I don't know. But uh, either way, so, yeah, I, I wasn't really... Uh, I couldn't really, you know, like, beggars can't be choosers in that situation. So I grabbed black. Now I am really glad I grabbed black. However, I then also ran into the exact same situation with black and white too, where I ended up grabbing, I believe, white too. Uh, and it doesn't fit as as well. Like, I should have, may maybe I grabbed black too, actually. I think I grabbed black too, yeah. And that's not good. I should have grabbed white too. It's even in the name. Like, if you played white, you should get white too. Uh, and I didn't, and so it doesn't line up. Uh, appropriately with the story that's told in, uh, you know, uh, white, it doesn't really make as much sense. Like, it, it doesn't fit as well. Um, it's still not bad, but it's like, I wish I had have gotten the one that corresponded, because then I could have had both, is what I'm getting at. Instead, I just get both Zekrom in both games, and it, that was just, like, the way it was. That was just, like, what was on the shelves when, when I could buy them. Uh, did you find your Eon Pokemon in black and white, too? Eon Pokemon? What do you mean, Dark Shadow? Oh, no, I, I have not gotten that far yet, no. I've caught the uh, the three, like, Musketeers. Um, I've... Do I don't have any other Legendaries but them, though. But they, they give them to you, like, super early. Like, I think after the Six Badge. Canada doesn't freaking exist. Barley? Barley, watch your tone, young man. I played Black, and then I played White, too. So you actually did it the opposite of me. So you had the same problem, but with Reshiram instead of Zekrom. Anyway, my point being is I think I really would have preferred Resh Reshiram, uh, but then because of just, like, spending that much time with Zekrom, it became my favorite. That was a really long answer to your question, but yeah. It's in the Dream Yard post-game. Yeah, I'm not in the post-game yet. I will definitely get there because I try to, like, get as much footage of everything in the game. There's a reason it's called In-Depth. I really do try to do everything you can in that game. I don't necessarily get every possible thing. I don't maybe 100% them, but I will, like, get far enough in the batter, battle tower to show, like, a frontier brain. Or, I guess, frontier. Anyway, you, you know what I'm trying to say. Like, uh, the battle subway, I made sure I could see, like, uh, Ingo and and uh, the, the other guy. Like, the, the, the subway heads or whatever. 
Yes, Barley language, no Xbox for a month. Yes, Barley, no Xbox for a month. No video games for a week either. None. Not even your mobile stuff. No more Fire Emblem Heroes for you. This is so sad. Can I swear? You are not allowed to swear because you were just an infantile human being who has not quite yet reached maturity. But when you do, when you finally, in 11 years from now, turn 18, you can, you can swear all you want, okay? Because then you'll be an adult and it'll be okay. F. U. Aw, oh, partly. Oh, N! Okay, never mind. Never mind. Nice. Proud of you, son. Alright, let's go. Barley's gonna bring the luck. We're gonna get this hair across. First try, first ball. I can feel it. I can feel it. Barley, bring the bring the luck. Come on, throw it throw it at the screen. Here we go. Barley. It's gonna get a first try, won't it? Oh no, it didn't! Jeez, even if it Wow! Barley, you did it, dude! You actually did it. That is crazy. That's the first try. Man, that's that's insane. <laughs> Funky Kong. Nice. Nice. The ultimate echo. Maybe we'll get a Funky Kong reveal tomorrow. F is for friends who catch mons together. U is for ukulele. Uh, what do you think of Henry Cavill maybe standing down to Superman? I mean, it makes sense. If I'm Cavill and I'm like, man, like this whole thing started from like a franchise like I was supposed to be the guy of. Then in Justice League, I'm not even in it till like the very end. And mind you, Superman might be the best part of that movie. I haven't really seen it, to be honest. I've seen like clips of it on YouTube. But uh, the point being, though, is that like, you know, he's supposed to be. And then all of a sudden, all the movies get panned. The press is awful because like no one wants to be there. It's very, it's very like easy to see that. And then finally, at the very end uh, of all this, like now he's like waiting. And every week there's a new like rumor if Bat Ben Affleck is out as Batman or not. I still think they're in flux in that, right? I don't think they've like made any like specific decision, but yeah. So when will we see if it's, if it's shiny? Hello, uh, Ch Ch Chichcon? So when will we see if it's shiny? I don't know, Barley. That's how shiny hunting works is like, you, you don't know. We hope we get it in the first 8,000. Ideally, like we want it at least within odds, if not way under odds, like that'd be great. But yeah, it's hard to say, man. It's hard to say. DC, well, hey, Lanky Kong is the best member of the DK crew, so you take that back. Here in stand stream, bum bum. I just want a good Aquaman. It could be good. I am not holding out hope for that or Venom. I, I will, I'll probably see them both, but like, yeah, I, I, I think they're gonna be, B, like, not B movies in the sense of like, like that would be my rating, like five out of ten, six out of ten movies, like not as bad as Suicide Squad, not as bad as Batman vs Superman. But also, they're not going to be on, like, the level of, like, you know, uh, Infinity War or Thor Ragnarok. Or, like, I'm not expecting them to, like, revolutionize the genre, you know? But if they're good, that that's great. I mean, I only want these characters I love to succeed. I wish the Justice League, like, blew me away and was the great... I didn't want it to fail. Uh, it just kind of did, right? Like, it's not... It wasn't so... It, at that point, it wasn't surprising, you're correct. But it still, it was sad, because it's like, man... This is supposed to be, like, one of the greatest triumphs that they've ever put on a film. Like, this is, like, a lot of my childhood being up there, represented on the screen. Oh, wow. Another quick one. Barley, you might be the best good luck charm we've ever seen, man. It's hard when different studios are interacting, though, Barley. It's hard, man. I finished my necklace and sent it in Discord. Nice. Barley, you go check out that that necklace. I want you to leave a Roy Boy, uh, like, a moat on it, like, as a response to it, please. Um, but, yeah. Still not shiny, though, Barley. Still not shiny, man. Just a regular blue hair across. Uh, Aquaman is either going to be hit or miss. It has, the, like, the director, James Wan, fantastic director. Really, he is. He, I think he elevates whatever he's given, even if it's, like, bad. I feel like he elevates it. So, great director. If they can get the underwater stuff good, then that's good. I just, I don't know, man. I don't know. DC movies always seem so, like, video gamey to me like how movies were before the mcu like superhero movies and like before the dark knight they just kind of felt like a giant like video game with a lot of cgi and you know i don't like i don't know i don't know maybe i'm just like a, a hipster like a marvel fanboy hipster guy i don't know uh 
Oh wow, Heartbreaker. That's crazy. Are you are you still like regularly hunting for it, or have you kind of like put it on the shelf for a while? Uh, Aquaman should be done like Wonder Woman was done, and have the movie be told in a prequel. Is that yeah? I don't know. I don't even know. Like I've seen the trailer, but I I don't know. Is that what they're aiming for? Question out of curiosity: Which is a better nickname for a female and for us, Bo Peep or Mary? Uh, they're both fine. I would personally pick Bo Peep because yeah, uh, Mary is more like a human name, and also the name of the the radio host in Johto. So yeah, it'd be like naming you know like my ludicolo oak. It just I don't know. It's weird. But they're, they're both fine. They're both good. Black Panther was not good. They're sucked. Uh, don't at me, says Barley. Well, I mean, to you maybe. But I feel like there's a lot of people out there that it, like, you know, was a big deal for. And uh, even if it wasn't made specifically for you, Barley, you gotta, you gotta learn to appreciate a movie for what it is and not for what you want it to be, you know? I agree when I saw it. Like, I explained this yesterday as well. When I saw it, I thought it was like a little overhyped after I walked into the theater. Still good. It's what? You said the same thing about Black Panther when we left the movies. You said like that was really good and I think you almost like cried in it. But you said that like it wasn't like your favorite Marvel movie. Well. Okay. Anyway. I like Justice League so don't know. Only thing that Aquaman is not yet a king so I don't know. Yeah, I, I'm honestly not sure. I'm honestly not sure. I am sure, though, that we're getting closer to catching this hair cross. Barley, are you going to bring the luck again? Are we, are we going to go three in a row here? First ball. Have you seen the suspected release date? I have. I was actually talking a little bit about Daredevil with uh, one of my bosses today at work. Uh, it might bring, yeah, it might bring me back in. I've been kind of like, since Iron Fist Season 1 and Defenders, I've kind of not cared about, like, the Netflix stuff. But uh, maybe Daredevil Season 3, if it's, like, really good... I've seen season one, I've seen season two, and I've seen, I've seen most of the Defenders. I didn't finish it though, honestly, because it just like, eh. Electra. Yeah, I hope it's good. I hope it's good. I'll check it out. If it's, if it's like good, and, uh, you know, people are telling, like, friends, not like reviewers and stuff, but like if friends are like, hey man, like you gotta check it out again, like it's good again, then I will, uh, I'll be all over that. I like Black Panther. Have you seen the... Uh, sorry, I already read that. I plan on hunting for Spirit Tomb sometime in Gen 4. Same with Avoid Glitch Darkrai. Wow, nice. The reason Black Panther did so well is... As it... Or it did help as well. Yeah, Blade can much, much earlier. Pardon me? What was that sentence? I couldn't finish The Punisher and I really wish I did. Why, Barley? Why? It's weird thinking those shows are the same universe as Avengers. At this point, I don't associate them, though, because it's clear that the creators want them to be so separate. But, like, for, like basically, as a marketing thing, they're like, oh, they're set in the same universe. Here's, like, the smallest throwaway line. But they don't. They, they can't, right? Because, like, with what just happened in Infinity War, I mean, maybe Daredevil ends weird with Infinity War things, but I don't think it does. And I think they're, they're just, I think at this point, they started hoping that they would merge the two, and then it never happened. And now they're just, like, moving ahead, and it's a different thing. No, that was just rumors and stuff. Um, the Punisher is actually cool and interesting. If Roy was a superhero, would he be the Punisher? That's the question I have for you. Oh, it was a very dark film. I see, Wetzel. Yeah, I just... To me, it was like the like Killmonger and his dad like stuff in... like Com I think it's Compton, right? Uh, it was just like... That stuff was the best part of that whole movie to me. Who is your favorite Avenger? Uh, I've, I've answered this a few times. Uh, basically Thor or Star-Lord, I think. One of them. One of them, too. No, I love the first one. I didn't like the second one. You only knew me after the second one was already out. Yeah. I actually love... Like, I had, like, a full countdown for the Thor. Like, oh, you don't, you don't even know. That's why I dressed up as Thor for the Avengers premiere. Remember? You seen the picture with the long hair? Yeah. So how dare you? How dare you insinuate? No, I was I was a huge Thor fan, and then from Phase Two, I was like, oh, Star Lord is is definitely way better because they ruined Thor kind of in the second movie, uh, and they stopped giving him stuff to do. But then Ragnarok came out, and now I'm like, definitely, it's great. I I think I still gotta say Star Lord, but it's great that at least like my my OG Phase One 
favorite, like, got, like, what he deserved in terms of, like, screen time and... Hmm? Yeah. Yeah. Thor's sick. Wrong. Loki is best Avenger. Loki... I, mm, I, I, I can't say anything, but I'm just... Bad choice. Bad choice. My favorite Avengers are Doctor Strange and Captain America. Both great choices, too. I mean, Captain America is, like, the most surprising in, like, the sense of... It's just amazing how they basically turn, like, Marvel's version of Superman. Like, everyone always had those issues with, like, he's he's basically, you know, a Boy Scout. He, he, he's not interesting because there's no conflict. And, uh, no. It turns out that there actually is a lot of conflict. And you can do a lot with that. But, yeah. Loki, deader than Roy... Hey, Roy's streaming career is coming back now, man. Wanda is my bae. Elizabeth Olsen is such a, like great actress and also yeah she she is she's very beautiful as well but she's uh i love elizabeth Olsen. she's in a she's in a movie called ingrid goes west and she's like really good in that do you prefer sh thor with short or long hair to be honest obviously like his look in ragnarok that kind of reset the tone for him the short is better but i wish he did have the long i hope he has longer hair in infinity or like you know uh, avengers 4 or whatever i don't think he will but I wish he had his, like, classic hair. It's Part of me is sad that, like, they basically had to, like, Hemsworthify him to, and, like, he finally... You know what I mean? Like, but I get it. I get it. From, from a production standpoint, I can tell that, like, they were sick of using wigs and having to, like, film around them. And this is just easier and quicker. And they wanted to redefine the character. And I get it all from behind the scenes. But, yeah, I wish, I wish he still had the long hair. What makes Hawkeye so good is he has no powers. He's just a guy with a bow. Exactly. He's basically like Barley. No, people lost their minds over Hawkeye not being in an Infinity War. Yes, yes, no. Trust me, the Re the the Russos were getting harassed every day of like, where's Hawkeye? Where's Hawkeye? Like, people were were making all Hawkeye versions of the of the poster. And did you see the one movie theater that put up a, an all Hawkeye like standee? All the Avengers faces were covered with like Jeremy Runners. Yeah, it was crazy. So yeah, people missed missed Hawkeye, trust me. They're excited. Hello! There he is! There's a boy in the chat. And he has a purple background and a purplish hat. And I know we'll never be found, because he is a boy. He's the only and yo, now you've shown up and given us the luck, Roy. Can thank you. I heard they cut his hair so you can tell the difference between young Thor and older Thor when they time travel. Just a rumor though. Yeah. I've heard that rumor as well. But, we'll see, we'll see. I think if anyone time travels, it's probably going to be Roy. Uh, he's probably going to time travel to the future. That wasn't, that wasn't even my best Squidward future impression. It's more like, future, future. Anyway, sorry. I'm sure I just like ruined your guys' night with that. Don't have nightmares, please. Please. But yeah. Which Avengers do you think aren't coming back? Uh, E.G. Cap and Thor after Phase 4. I've talked about this before. I think, uh, I think Cap dies. And I think the other two come back. Why do you say... <gasps> you know someone's dying. <laughs> Thank you, cheerleader. Thank you. Yes. I think the hair is just to show a tonal shift and to represent Taika's different interpretation. I agree. I agree, Barley. Uh, in the run-up of Thor until Thor 3, Thor lost his powers and cut his hair. They did it in the MCU to reflect the con- Oh, true, okay, okay. That's fair, then. That is fair, but I still feel like it, it's more, like, they just were sick of- There were a lot of- You watch a lot of, like, bloopers and stuff from the first two Thor movies and Avengers. His hair, like, they'd be using, like, wind machines, and it would like, make it all messed up, and it didn't match his beard, and things like that. So I think they just, like, they were like, let Chris just have fun with it, because they knew he was getting kind of sick of it. He definitely was not gonna re-up that contract uh, after Thor 2. You could tell he was, like, just done- uh, and now that it's more of a comedy, and it, I think I think he's enjoying himself more, I can see him being back. And especially the response to Infinity War, of course, like, it's just crazy. So, yeah. I foresee Hemsworth coming back. I don't think that character's done. But we'll see. We'll see. No, Barley, no! I wonder what the plot of Spider-Man Far From Home will be. Well, basically, it's just like... It's basically, have you ever seen one of those, like, Real Housewives shows... It's gonna be Aunt May as, like, a real housewife who's, like, lost everything. It's gonna be really kind of, like, bitter, bitter... Like, just just a really unfortunate look into, like, 
a poor widow trying to make ends meet, uh, and then her the one person that she had in her life just went to an alien planet and died. And she knows, too. Like, that's the thing, because we saw the end of Homecoming. She finds out. So she, like, it's not even like she'll never know. It's like she knows. And she just, or who knows? Maybe Aunt May is not, also got lost in the snap. I don't know. I don't know. It's hard to say. Nad's jamming out to the music, though. So that's all that matters. I'm so excited for Captain Marvel. Barley, we should see Captain Marvel together, man. I can't, you should come to Toronto and, uh, we'll all, we'll all go in a big group. Because that makes me happy that you're excited for that movie. Because I didn't expect it, to be honest. And yo, another first time one. Man, we're definitely going to 375. Because this has been uh, very... We've been very fortunate and very lucky. And then, of course, we did that, as I said that. And our luck immediately changed. So let's go. Let's. Uh, we're going to have to actually end the match. Watch Dioge freak out. And then check our party separate. The music is hard not to jam at. That is the one thing. And that's the reason why I don't think I'm sick of it yet is because for like two years, essentially almost, well, yeah, almost two years now, uh, I've been jamming out to basically the same battle theme. Okay, it's not shiny. And finally, I'm in a game where like the battle theme is completely different and something I'd never heard before and also pretty good, which helps. So yeah, uh, I'm excited. Does that say job? Yeah. Oh my goodness. Yeah. Wow. Wow. Crazy. Uh, Canadian. Yes. Yeah, but what does your passport say? <laughs> yeah, no. Do not put I'm an I'm, I'm an Italian <laughs> Lebanese Canadian. Like no, you're Canadian on your passport. Yes. Captain Marvel is ridiculously OP, like the Marvel equivalent of Superman. I also think uh, Brie Larson's a really good actress. She was on Community for a little while. Room was really good. Uh, I enjoyed it. But yeah, I can tell. So, Roy and Barley, we should all see Captain Marvel together. Sandy, I actually do go to Toronto when Captain Captain Marvel comes out. Would you and Nat see with me and my brother? So, here's the thing. So, I do, as if you've been watching for, like, the streams in a while, I definitely do go and see those movies, like, with the same group of friends I've been... Like, my high school friends, my Walmart buddies, all from that, like, time in my life. However... That's not to say, if I knew you were coming and we could plan it in advance, I definitely would get two tickets with your guys' names on it. Uh, for sure. For sure. I'm not, I'm not saying no. I think, like, I'm definitely the kind of guy of the mindset of, like, more the merrier always. But also, I, I would, you know, for just continuity's sake, we're so close to the finish line. Like, we just gotta get to Avengers Age of Ultron, or Age of Ultron, Avengers 4. And then I'm sure we'll all, like, start going our separate ways and having kids and stuff. But for now... We all just, like, really, really, you know, we're, we're trying to finish it off strong and, and see all the movies with each other. But, yeah. It's, like, the last year, basically. It's, like, Captain Marvel and then Infinity War 2, and then we're done. You know? Now I'm in Toronto. Some of them have moved out, like, the other way. But, yeah. We will definitely try. We will try. If you, if you know of some plans and stuff and you want to, like, hit me up closer to that time on Discord and stuff, I will try to, to get you those tickets for sure. And then we can hang out, and you can sit, like, you will definitely get to sit beside us in the theater and stuff. It's just, like, again, seeing it and, like, afterwards discussing it with my friends and stuff. It's, it's part of our, like, tradition, you know? Is Black Widow scheduled to get her standalone movie in Phase 4? Uh, it's all but confirmed, basically. There's actually, like, confirmation of they've been interviewing directors for, like, months now. I think they've gotten it down to, like, five candidates or something. Like, a very short list. So, yeah, it's happening. It's just no one knows when, and no one knows what, if it's going to be a prequel or a sequel or what. I don't want to go to Canada. Why not, Barley? You know that we have everything you love in this world here in Canada. We really do. Like, I'm telling you, man. You'll fall in love. You, I feel like the only time I would ever see Stan is if he went to Comic-Con. I don't think I ever would, to be honest, though. I just I heard it's like gotten way too out of control. And there's so many other... Hmm? No, the San Diego one. Oh. Yeah. Yeah. It's just too much, and it's super expensive, and like, yeah... Yeah. I know, I know. Canada is amazing. Seriously, America has what you have, but better? They have more of it. I'll give you that. But, like, I don't know if better. Sometimes less is more, you know? That's that's all. You're just, you're just bad at smelling. If you want, you can just wait till I'm done the stream and like four more encounters and we can go over that together. 
Okay. We have more rights, that's for sure. <laughs> yeah, you do, with your uh, net neutrality still intact and, you know, your, uh, your beautiful uh, non-capitalist society where Jeff Bezos is worth, like, a trillion dollars, but his workers have to, like, pee in, like, mason jars. You're right, though, Roy. You got me. You got me, man. You're wrong. So is Nad. Sorry, Nad. But people in Canada aren't rude to you when you forget to say thank you. I mean, people in Canada, by the way, can be rude. They're definitely, on average, though, they are not as rude as their American uh, counterparts. And it also depends, from what I found, which, like, area, not even state, just which area of that state you're in, right? Um, I think, like, there's definitely, like, different places and different uh, groups that hang out in different areas. And I've been more, like, that's the thing is, like, I always say, probably the nicest people I've ever met in America uh, were, like, from, from Michigan. And, and Michigan gets such a bad rap on the internet, and it's, like, a meme and stuff. And, like, but honestly, like, Ann Arbor and Detroit and, like, all the people I ever met there were the nicest, kindest, almost Canadian-esque people I've ever met in America. Uh, the rudest people I met were definitely uh in like long island new york but but maybe it's the italian i don't know but it just like that's nothing against them i haven't even been to that many places i've been to like buffalo and michigan and new york city and maybe that's it oh i've been to boston too and the boston people mind you i was there all around like con people so i don't think i met very many like bostonians but uh, the ones i did meet were great so i don't know i don't know but I've never been to anywhere in the south. I've never even really been in, like, the, the mid the mid area. I think you guys call it, the, what, the Bible Belt? But I've never been there. And I would love to. I want to experience it all. And, uh, yeah. I would love to do a road trip through, like, actual America. I, I really would. I would. I, Nad's giving me, like, some weird... I would. I think there's, like, amazing people. And I think, like, the awfulness gets, like, largely outreported compared to like the nice and unifying voice that most Americans like do believe in. A guy once apologized to me when I spilled a, a cup of coffee on his table at Tim Hortons. Yeah, no, that's actually, that is definitely a thing. Like I have, I have had people bump into me and I will say sorry. And I, it's like, it's like a reaction that literally happened to me on the street the other day. Some like some Asian dude was not looking where he was going. He just like, he was like on his phone and just like bumped right into me. And I literally immediately, instead of, like, being mad, I was just like, I was like, oh, sorry, man. And he didn't, like, acknowledge me at all. But I still was just like, I was sorry that, like, I wasn't also, like, didn't get out of his way. I don't know. Hmm. Interesting. Okay, okay. Hello, Creeper Creeps. What's up? So there are more mean people than the average small country. There's a lot more of us. Everyday Americans are usually chill. I agree. I agree. And again, I have very limited experience, so maybe I don't know what I'm talking about. But I think uh, most most Americans I've met have been just very great, like, just great people. I hope Doctor Strange 2 will be a proper continuation of the first movie, and it takes itself seriously and tries to make sure there aren't too many jokes. I think they'll make him a little more Tony Stark-esque, because I don't think we're going to be seeing Tony Stark as much as we used to. However... I do think that, uh, you know, I think they'll still keep, like, I think they'll make it more horror-themed than they've ever made a Marvel movie before. It's, because I think they've seen how, like, people now love that character, so they don't need to really, like, sugarcoat him anymore and can just, like, let him go, like, balls to the wall crazy. Tell Nat I said hi! Video Master says hello. Hello! Hello! You can't hit me. And a part of America, North America. True. I'm currently hunting for green alien! Shiny Espeon. Nice. And here we go. Here we go. We're gonna check this one. 372 has a nice ring to it. Maybe it'll be the shiny that we've always needed in our lives. Let's see. Oh, I still gotta use slam. It's probably gonna crit. It didn't. It didn't. Good thing. Tell Nad Canada sucks. Canada sucks, Nad. Boo. Alright. We got three more encounters. I could have sworn you had some fall decoration with maple leaves on it. Maple leaves are pretty Canadian. They are literally like our icon for everything. No, but they're they're if we have maple leaves in our house, I think that's more than most Americans do. 
Yes, but that's why I'm saying that maple leaves are Canadian. That being in here is a Canadian symbol because you wouldn't find that in America in an American South. I don't think you will. Guys, any of you guys who celebrate Thanksgiving out there, do you decorate your like dinner table and like homes with maple leaves for Thanksgiving? Is that a thing? Uh, do you think Bucky will be the new Captain America? I do not think so. I don't think they'll do that. I mean, if they do, I don't think he'll get his own movie, at least. I had a dream where Avengers 4 had John Wick in it because Thanos killed his dog with the snap and he got killed by Keanu Reeves. If only anyone could do it, it is definitely Keanu. Nope, not at all. See, Nad? Oh, wait. Wetzel's saying, yeah, we do. Uh, Barley's saying, yes, a little bit. Wow. Wow, and other than Caninja, all you guys adopting Canadian tradition. Barley, that's embarrassing. <laughs> Staying in high school and planning on taking Japanese classes. I think that's great, man. I think Japanese or Mandarin, I think, would just, like, be a huge benefit. Um, China's taking over the world. That, that's all I got to say about that. Oh, wow, why? Meanwhile, I'm, I don't even know how to throw the right Pokeball. There we go. Never had a maple leaf in my house. See? I think it's, like, probably split. It seems pretty even. I don't know. I don't know. You gotta remember, a lot of places don't even have those kind of leaves and trees, right? And yet, Barley does, apparently. And he's in, like, California. Bro, they have maple syrup in Canada. They do, and they also have the TTC, the Toronto Transit uh, Committee. Or, uh, oh my god, commute, co com commuter? I don't know. What does TTC stand for? Corporation? Toronto Transit Corporation? Look it up. I wants to know. Aw. Your flag is a joke. I mean, it's actually a pretty cool jet uh, uh, flag when you think about it, right? Like, at first, I kind of thought that for a while, too. I'm like, like, when I was a kid, I straight up was like, wait, why did we put a leaf on our flag? Like, that's... But as I've, like, grown up, I'm like, that's actually cool. It gives us, like, an identity. I mean, there's a lot of flags out there. And unfortunately, I I'm speaking to a lot of my, my European friends out there. Even America, where they're so similar to other flags. Like, the... Is it Uruguay or Paraguay or something? America has a flag that's almost identical to another flag out there. It's really easy to get it mixed up if it's, like, in the emoji or something. Like, my point is, is Canada, it's very hard to get that confused with another country's flag. Like, it's very distinctively Canadian, and I kind of love that. I love that how original it is. What's your favorite flag? I mean, probably Canada, to be honest. I mean, I'm just like... Nadia says she loves the Lebanese one. Is uh, the tree, yeah, yeah, yeah. That's a good one, for sure. Um, yeah, yeah. No, because they are. They're more distinctive when they're like that. I actually do love the simplicity of the Japanese flag. Uh, just, like, literally white with a red circle in it. I think that's cool. Oh, really? Oh, the Japan can't do it? Yeah. True. I also love the Swedish, and I do love the uh, like the British flags as well. I think they're cool. Union Jack, the uh, the Swedish one. I can never remember what it's called, but I, I do know that it has a very specific name. Uh, the Quebec flag is actually awesome as well, but obviously that's not a country. Yeah, but it, it's got a really cool flag. The the trois trois court point. I don't know. I don't know how to pronounce it. I took like four four years of in high school of French. Y'all like California burritos. California bars, they're undeniable. They love going up to houses, egging them with their friend, a special Macklemore. That is his best friend. He lives in California, too. Is Thanksgiving a Canadian thing, too? Yes, but it's in October. Yeah, it's before Halloween. It's, uh, it's, it's about a month from now, actually. And we get a long weekend. We don't get, like, a crazy five-day weekend, though, with Black Friday and, like, the Monday. And we get, like, one of the days. I don't know. We get the Friday off, right? We don't get the Monday. No, we don't. Are you sure? We don't get a four-day week. We did when we were in school, maybe. I don't think we do now. Yeah. I don't think, like, I will, though, either. French fries in a burrito is such a godsend. But have you ever had a, uh, a Chipotle in a Whopper? That's the real question. Did you fill out all that stuff? Okay. 
Hey, there's me! Hello, Sonic Chow! Gonna head out, see you later, Stan. No worries! Mindless, this Heracross is being quite, uh, quite the pain. But, uh, speaking of it, but yeah, uh, thanks so much for tuning in. I hope you enjoyed yourself. I'll be back on Monday, and hopefully I'll be closer to, I want to, like, at least 450, if not 500. But we'll see. This could potentially be another really busy weekend for me. Depends on some stuff. Also, Gabriel, just living. Just living. Do you get bank holidays, too? Sometimes, I don't know, it's weird. It's weird. Sometimes, but not always. We call them government holidays. There's, like, stat and then, like, government well, most people do, who are, like, full-time with, like, a corporation. Put, but yeah, not in the not in the service industry, for sure. Put some bacon on it. Then you add some cheese. Put some bacon on Roy's armpit. Then you have to take a sneeze. Hello! Yo, JB! JB, what are you doing here? What are you doing here? Hello, welcome! When I die, I will become Entei. No, when you die... You will become Roy. Stan, have you ever seen any of the Mission Impossible movies? I've seen three and four, and that's it. Yes. Yes. What do you mean, why? This is the ones I've seen. This is what was... Yeah, I saw I saw the fourth one in theaters. Because I went with my buddy who really loved them. Um, but yeah, I never saw the fifth one in theaters. Have not seen the sixth one yet. I, I, don't, I don't dislike them either, by the way. Uh, I've actually, I think I've seen the fourth one like two or three times, honestly, just because of like circumstance. Just one of those weird things. It just, it never, never worked out. I never had like enough of an interest to see them in theaters. Um, except that one, because my friend basically wanted me to, but yeah. Yo, Mission Impossible is great though. I want to see the new one. I heard it's great. I like Tom Cruise. I think he's actually a great actor. Hmm? No, you are getting too elderly to criticize Tom Cruise because you're obviously going insane because that man is a national treasure. He is. If Inklings were real, I would love to be... Tom Cruise is in some great... Jerry Maguire is fantastic. Magnolia. Um, what's the one? Is it Collateral with Jamie Foxx? He, he's part of Scientology. That's true. And I don't necessarily agree with that. But, like, as an actor, I, I can appreciate him and separate him from his own personal choices. That's the thing. Watch the fifth one. Tom Cruise is a psychopath, but he's he's a good... Yeah, exactly. That's, Roy is agreeing with me. I'm lurking while doing research. Oh, what are you doing research on, Roy? Are you perhaps doing research on why Canada is such a great place to live? <laughs> great minds. Think about Canada. All right, let's go. Let's do this, Roy. Let's get... We got two more encounters, and I know you're excited. Barley, are you are you a Scientologist? That would actually make sense if you and your family were part of the uh, Scientology. Oh, I just realized this is on the second channel. Yeah, man, that's why it was so like it was so surprising to see you. This is like the secret the secret channel for all like the diehard baby rhinos out there. And basically, unless you're following me on Twitter or in my Discord, like you don't even really know about this probably. Just researching my Donkey Kong costume for the fall. Are you actually gonna go through with that? I hope you do. I don't- I know you're the type of person, too, who, if you do, you would never tell me until, like, that moment. And that's okay, Roy. I- I, I want you to know that's okay. But I'm so excited if it does happen. Yo! Thanks for seeing my tweet last night. Yeah, man, of course. How's it going, Totem Rotom? How you been? Yeah, that's awesome. Congrats on all that stuff. Um, but yeah. How you been, man? Been a while. This is jokes. Is it, though? Is it? I- I actually will never know with you, Roy. I suggested- so, fun fact, I suggested to Roy- if you guys follow his channel, I know Barley and Cheerleader do. Uh, if you follow his channel, I made a little passing joke of like, hey man, he was like, I don't know how to start this new Roy response. And I was like, why not like dance to uh, to the new K, like King K Rule theme uh, from the Smash Direct. And he was like, oh, oh, that's hilarious. And then like fast forward like two weeks and uh, Roy was in a green morph suit playing DK64 dancing to that song. So you never know with him. And yo, Alex, that's awesome. Don't let Roy uh, ruin the ruin the moment. That story on Instagram was a sin. Yeah, I realized how like absolutely ridiculous I sounded afterwards, but in the moment it sounded really good. I I didn't think my voice overpowered uh, Donald Glover's voice by that like by the amount it did, so it came out very white. Yeah. Oh, true, JB. Nice, nice. Well, thank you, man. 
Can I send the GoFundMe for Roy's DK custom? Yo, when you stream tomorrow, Roy, you should actually hold a GoFundMe for that. I bet it gets, like, fulfilled. Maybe not by the end of tomorrow, but, like, by, by the end of the week, if you do more than one stream, it gets it gets filled. Guaranteed. Who would not want to see... I'm good, I pass odds, rip. Yeah, but you know what? Like, part of me, like, just the... Like, congratulations on, like, going that far. Like, you're still in it. Obviously, you don't have it yet, but, like... It's gonna feel so good when you get it. And it, it has to be soon, right? Like, it has to be. But yeah, like, that's that's huge. I think that's such an accomplishment. I know it doesn't seem like it probably in the moment, but to me, who's only at, like, 370, that's, uh, it feels like a pretty big accomplishment, you know? I'll do a donation goal. Please, please do one. And make good on my promise. I don't know, though. The last time you did a donation goal for a DK-related thing, you kind of let everyone down. So, no, I'm kidding. I mean, I'm only half kidding. It is a real thing. But yeah, you know what I'm saying. Anyway, point is, I uh, I made one though. Yo, I actually want this to happen. The only thing is, it has to, yeah, it has to be like fulfilled soon enough that you can order the the suit and have it come in before Halloween, right? Dinner is ready. Stay fresh, everyone. I hope your dinner is fresh, Sonic. But yeah, take care. Thank you for tuning in. We got one more hair across, ladies and gentlemen. Let's check this baby. It is still a blue little little lady. So let's continue along here. We got one last one for the night. I'm in a great mood. The stream has been absolutely fantastic. And uh, can I send it in the Discord? Of course, cheerleader. Of course. Of course you can. Hey, I know a thing or two about animal suits. Yeah, you should actually talk to Roy. You guys should get in v uh, VC. To oh, you didn't see. Again, it was in Roy's voice chat. Uh, Wetzel thought it'd be good to go to like a church or uh, a church sanctioned Halloween thing. Dressed as a giant, like, was it a bunny or a teddy bear? <laughs> yes, basically. And uh, he he gave some kids nightmares for sure. Oh my God. But yeah, I don't know if Roy wants to do like a donation goal on the channel, like during the stream, or if he wants to just use your GoFundMe. I don't know. You guys worked out it amongst yourselves. But either way, I'm very excited for it. Roy's going to dress up like Donkey Kong for Halloween. That's not a furry. Oh my god. You're... You're not coming to Japan. I'm, you're staying at home. What if I want to dress up as Yoshi for Japanese Halloween? Did you ever think about that? Next month it will be two years since I found your channel. What? I know... JB, I remember from like the X and Y, man. Now somehow we've gone back in time and we're, we're in Coliseum. We went from like the, the 3DS to the GameCube. But you know what? It's all good. Of course, Genji. I wish you all the best of luck on your rock rough i hope you get it i know it's it's a pain but it sounds like you're at least prepared more than ever and I, i'm excited i'm excited oh my god wetzel oh my god <laughs> not appropriate not appropriate <laughs> nad's choking on her food right now because she read something in the discord ladies and gentlemen i hope you know that you almost just killed my girlfriend with your with your your awfulness Hey, Stan, just got done with Flamenco, working on Wimpod. Nice, Aaron. Unfortunately, you have... It always feels... Oh, yo! And Cedar Sauce as well. We're actually only doing... This is the last one. We're going to 375 tonight. Doing 25 uh, on the night. So, I'm really sorry uh, to anyone who just showed up, you, you two guys. But uh, it's been a good stream. It's been a, actually a great stream. Uh, we Obviously, we, we still don't have the, the hair cross. Otherwise, we would not still be going. But who knows, man? Maybe the last one of the night could be. It's happened to me before on stream. It could happen again. Though, I don't think this is the th this is the game for that to happen. But who knows? And yo, Quartz as well. But yeah, guys, I'm super excited. Uh, definitely, though, I will be in and, a, in and about uh, Roy's stream tomorrow on his channel. So definitely check out RoyBoy140's channel if you've not done so already. Uh, he'll be streaming some Fire Emblem. But mostly, I think it's just going to end up being like a great space to, uh, to discuss the Nintendo Direct that's happening tomorrow. And possibly some Smash news. I'm really excited about that. And uh, yeah, I'll be there. And we're trying to... We're trying to go fund him, uh, basically a Donkey Kong Halloween costume, and I'm really excited about that. So yeah, but yeah, sorry that I'm ending mine, but again, I will be a mod in his stream tomorrow, if you want to check that out. Also, uh, this beautiful Heracross 3D model, I gotta thank Chris one more time for, for making that. That's actually incredible, and I'm just so, so excited about it. Um, guy made it. He He's currently doing the same hunt as I am. You can find his Twitter and Twitch links in the description below. And, uh, man, oh, man, does he deserve it. He's already got his shiny. He's already got the shiny crown in Johto and everything. Man's on a roll. Just killing it. But, uh, yeah. Hopefully, we'll, we'll, we can catch up 
if Heracross ever decides to be okay. <laughs> I still remember the Neil Ego hunt and insane amount of money talking to it. Oh my god, yeah. I hope Doc was doing well out there. He, he joined the Air Force and I know some stuff was going on, but uh, I, hope, I hope he's doing well. You should do a Smash Ultimate Tournament when it comes to... Oh! Oh! You don't even understand. We will absolutely be doing Smash Tournaments uh, when, when that game comes out. I'm so excited for Smash Bros. I will absolutely be streaming it whether... I don't care if there's like 10 people watching. If there's 10 people who want to play Smash Bros, like, that's so fun to me. Oh, I got more into Overwatch. I'm n Oh, nice! Lucio! You're awesome. Don't listen to Roy. Lucio's the best character in the game. But, uh, did you hear about those werewolf pups? No, what? Are they just like, did a dog and a wolf have a, have a, have a baby? Like, what, what? Don't tell me, no, no, never mind. My mind is about to go somewhere weird. I'm not a DPS Lucio. I'm so down for Smash Tourney Sand. Yo, it's gonna happen, and I guarantee you Roy will also be doing some that I will be taking part in as well. Uh, I don't want to steal from the, the original innovator. That boy was doing Smash Tournaments before they were cool. So, uh, I'm sure he'll be, he'll be doing them as well. And I'm really excited about that. Remember Barley, the old days with, with Roy's uh, Smash tournaments? And how he let people cut if they, like, donated money to him? What a capitalist. Mm -hmm. Did you even watch that? Yeah. We're, really? I didn't even know what you were talking back then. Oh, huh, okay. Well, it didn't go well. My internet went out. It was bad. But it was fun. I gotta do a 24 hour uh, with Stan as a guest, recapture the old days, with Neon as well. But anyway, ladies and gentle Roys, if you're out there, uh, I hope you enjoyed tonight's stream. Again, I apologize to all of you who just tuned up or turned up in the last little bit, but it was great seeing all these amazing old and new faces alike. Thank you to Stream Egg again for the raid, and thank you to Chris for the 3D model hair across again. It's just so sick. Uh, thank you to both of you guys and everybody else, and of course, Video Master for the donations also. Uh, thank you so much, man. Uh, it's way above and beyond. Uh, I'm not expecting donations doing this, so it was a really nice surprise. But uh, thank you so much. As I said, you can check out Chris's stuff in the description. He's got 3D models for tons of Coliseum Shinies, and some of them are really cool. So you should check that out. Uh, check out his Twitch as well, because he's doing what I'm doing. But again, so much further, so it can fill in some blanks. And check out Roy Boy's stream tomorrow night, where we'll be trying to make him rock a DK costume for Halloween, which, trust me, It'll be so worth it. You guys definitely want to be there. But uh, I love you guys. I love your faces. And before we end, let's check it. It is not a shiny, which I definitely thought, which is why I, like, let that outro go on for so long. But we will get it. I just don't know when. But uh, maybe it'll even be off stream this weekend. Uh, but anyway, I love you guys. Thank you for putting up with me. Sorry again about uh, not as many encounters this week. Uh, but it's been a weird week, uh, especially with the concert. And then we're, like, getting repairs done on our apartment right now. So... But anyway, I'll talk to you soon, and as I always say, happy hunting baby rhinoceros beetles, and have a great rest of your night and a phenomenal...